Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, to my shadow. Turns the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on we'll go.
Hello and welcome back to the LAG uh, Fall Champs Valorant Tournament. We've got three teams playing today and we are going to be getting into the action here very shortly. Uh, we've got Legend High School, we've got Baraboo High School, and I believe Berthoud, if that's how you pronounce it. But uh, going to be some great games today. A uh, couple are a new team, Berthoud, we haven't seen them before, so... Uh, should be some pretty interesting matches. Uh, I'm Jonah. I'm joined here with Quinn. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Uh, but yeah, we are just doing the pick bands of the first match series. First one we got is going to be between Legend High School and Baraboo High School. Uh, we saw these teams play last month in our Fall Showdown tournament series. So. Uh, should be a pretty good showing here uh, between these two teams. I believe last month they played very, very closely. So I'm expecting to see uh, some very close numbers here on these next couple maps that we're about to see. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this matches up. So this right now is the essentially a rematch from last month. Um, this was the first matchup that we ended up having for uh, Fall Showdown. It was really close, it was really tight. They had a lot of really good plays, a lot of really like evenly matched players. Um, Honestly, it had us at the edge of our seat, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they do, what they do this time, and if they learn from each other, if they ended up improving, or, you know, if the if the ranked curse ended up hitting people and we had people kind of drop off in skill level. So we'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to it. It looks like our first map is going to be uh, ascent with, I believe, Legend High School starting on defense first. Uh, I'm pretty sure we saw Zignis on the jet last month uh, on this on Ascent here, uh, I think he opt quite a bit too, so I'm expecting to see that. Um, he usually played mid and kind of took away the show on their uh, on their defense, so expecting him to probably do that again, and um, yeah, we'll see what the other team does to kind of counter that. Yeah, I'm looking but, forward to um, it. Sorry, I didn't cut you off before it. No, you're fine. <laughs> Our uh, second map is going to be Haven, and the last map, if it goes to a third, is going to be Split. But uh, pretty good map series here. And uh, yeah, we're about to get started here. Ascent, Haven, Split. Not a bad lineup. Um, Not bad at all. Ascent still still proving to be the, the team, team favorite. Everybody seems to always love that one, so that'll be good to see. I think it's I'm always going to be the most popular map. Yeah. Surprised no sunset yet. I thought people would kind of be picking that one still now that it's uh, now that it's out and legal and everything. Um, yeah, sunset was banned right away by uh, Baraboo. Interesting. I've never, I haven't had any problems with sunset playing on it. It's actually a lot of fun. I like it a little bit more than Split personally. Oh, me too. I'm hoping we'll see it sometime. Uh, this champs tournament one of these teams will hopefully pull it out i'm pretty sure we saw it last month in the showdown series so hopefully we'll see it again we'll see all right let's uh double check and see if these guys are ready and then just dive into it there's one r from one team Are from the second team, alright, just gonna bounce in. Uh, I'll get... Start map. And... Now you guys can see it, there we go, alright. Uh, Berthud is the pronunciation of the school. Berthud, okay. For Legend, we're seeing... 
uh, Zygnus on the jet, yeah. as I expected. Gender on the Reina. Got the Omen, along with the Sova and the Cypher. We are seeing something a little different out of Baraboo here. They are picking up the... Um, the ISO, I believe, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't remember his name there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> they only came out like two weeks ago, too, so he's, he's still new for everybody. Yeah. It'd be cool to see how they play with them. It's a very divey comp, it looks like, that they're trying to put together with Sky, Sky Yoru, and ISO. I'll breach Yoru, ISO, still. Yeah, this is pretty interesting out of them. I haven't seen the breach played too much on Ascent, but some teams are able to make it work pretty well if they're able to combo in like with a raise nade or uh jet dash to like get in and kill Select those stun people agent. which is very good yeah i i mean I'm, I'm a breach one trick so like i still love him on just about every map but ascent is definitely not not his strong strongest map with how uh i believe it's a lobby is set up you can't really do a whole whole lot his flashes are good but even then it's kind of restricted with how you can only flash through that first wall. It'll be cool to see how they play him. I'm looking forward to it. Jet, Sova, Reyna, Cypher, Omen. Double Duelist coming, coming out of uh, Thunderbirds. I'm pretty excited to see this Baraboo team with this comp. Should have some uh, good things cooking up. Legend just with a very classic Ascent comp, adding in the Reyna instead of like another initiator to maybe help them find some more space on defense or find some more space on attack. Ascent is one of those maps, is one of the few maps that I actually would be comfortable seeing a double duelist comp. Um, usually I, I lean towards double initiator. I don't know why it's just because I do, but I'm also a horrible plat diamond player. So like, I don't actually know what's going on half the time in, in your mind. Do you prefer double duelist or do you prefer double initiator? Like if you're looking at a team comp, how do you, how do you feel about the, the double duelist versus the double initiator? I prefer double initiator. Usually there's certain maps where you can run um a double duelist and it works pretty well like i'd say uh split is one of those maps um what's another one um kind of blanking right now but <laughs> split definitely one of those maps where you can run double yeah. duelist uh most maps you usually want to be running that double initiator or double controller comp uh and that just helps you out so much with the uh, util gives you a lot of info gives you a lot of space so double initiator is my preferred way to go gotcha but what do i know i'm just an immortal two player so look <laughs> <laughs> the uh, main hit already right off the bat yeah baraboo going quick into the site they're already in one person on site behind dice Omen does find one before he goes down. Iso does get the kill. I'm pretty sure he has that shield on him Spike too now. Planted. Yeah, the double tap shield did go off. Saved him from a deagle shot from Zygnus. And he does get another one. Shield back up on him. Three people on site. Omen blind coming in. One Able enemy to find one off of it. Another kill for the Iso. Double tap putting in work. So we're finding one kill Revealing for area. Legend. One main, one hell here. Uh, very very well, well played out of Baraboo there. Jeez. We had the same idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got into that site very quickly and just showed their dominance. 
took out the lone omen on the site and there was nothing that uh legend was really able to do to really counter that and get back into the site well the crazy thing too that i saw double Vili's double tap ended up going off i think i heard it three or four times that saved him from several shots it's so eagle shot for sure yeah, you can just keep getting that shield back after every single kill. Yeah. Really fishing out. Where would be here? Spike planted. Player standing. Not looking good for got into shorty right now. Healing over here. Law. Yeah, he has one HP too. Law this round coming out. Bear boot. They're looking very good. They're asserting their dominance on these attack rounds. They're running in, finding the kills, taking the sight so quickly that the rotates just can't come in for the legend team. The ice There's on site and pushed up before the legend team's able to even get there, so pretty hard. ISO putting in work again too. As soon as he gets that double tap, it's essentially a free kill coming up next 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 time he takes an engagement. It's you and me! Oh no, Paz caught. Still wins the 1v1. Caught in that position coming out of the ISO wall. Can't quite connect with gaming, gaming with blocks. Still, it is a huge win. That takes ISO out of the mix. Oh, Spike down A. One second. enemy remaining. They're able to find all these kills. Breach alone in a 1v4 now. Look at the stinger as well. Does Ginder hit him? He does. Ginder finding the last. Their confidence begins to crack and a shift. Legend getting themselves back into this game on their buy round. Very essential round to win there for them. But uh, we'll see if they're able to stop this next round when uh, Bear Boots that got full buys here. Not on their bonus anymore. Yes, this should do. Oh, it's like an econ across the board. It looks relatively even. This is uh, whoever this wins this here. one is going to essentially determine who wins the next round as well. Here. Got a full B push out of Bear Boo. Skydog finding that trip. But that trip stays up now. Yeah, this was huge. Second trip. Hit by Doggo. Doggo's falls. Spike down B. Finding one on the omen. That smokes down for the legend team. They've got the flank though coming through main. Zignix finding one. One enemy remaining. Ginder left alone in a 1v3 does find one onto the the ISO. Flashing his way in, one more. Oh, but the omen TP comes in and Ginder just has no clue where he goes. Beautiful omen TP putting it just perfectly behind Ginder. Yeah, it was such a close round for both teams there, you know. It was in uh, 1v3 with Ginder last alive, and he's almost able to clutch that out. And I'm pretty sure the omen was on pretty low HP there, too. So, very winnable round, very close round. Uh, great job out of both teams. Yeah, omen was uh, down below half on that, so... That was looking really good. Beautiful reposition. Looks like we got another quick B hit here. Stop the fire. I saw Wall do work. Carrying upstairs. Caught one. Aside from finding one off the trip. And it's another one. One enemy remaining. Down to a 5v1. That's a flawless round for legend. The Cypher Trips are catching everyone on the Baraboo team as they're coming out of the B main. Yeah, and 
that Cypher's just able to pop a cage or he's smoked off and he's just able to shoot through that cage or the smoke and find free kills for his team and very essential kills to get. Oh, this is a I nice love spot. I love seeing the Cypher nerd setups. Just look at this. He's got the entire site locked here. down, the entire entryway. Well, with the changes coming out too, where the, where the trips no longer are one-time use, Cypher is so strong all of a sudden. Ooh, nice tap. One tap out of Zygnus there. Coming down the mid. I know he's here though. Enemy oh, three! Spike down, mid. The collateral. They all lined up for him. Does he get the ace? He heard Pretty footsteps. Sure he heard him. There's the ace for Zygnus. Holy smokes! Very nice round. He starts off the round with the one top, the one tap top cat, and then finds three as they line up for him in tiles and bottom mid. Very great round out of him. Very nice shots. Just beautiful all around. Stars aligning for Zygnus on that Here. one. Yeah, and uh, the Bear Boot team is going to be on a tough buy. Even with blocks is disconnected. It's you and me! Doesn't look like we can pause. Oh, what's good? Uh, I enabled cheats. I could have sworn I did. Shadows traveling. They can pause it, but that has to be before the round starts. Gotcha. Not ready yet. Cover going out. Fortunate timing with it being right before the match start. Yeah. Has caught out in the open a little bit. Spike down A. So after finding one on the clipboard base, quickly traded out. Omen finds the other kill onto the omen. But look at this flank out of Baraboo here. I will find one. Left. Breach coming in though. Oh. Headshot. Oh, for the work. Ready. One shot here. Rachel hits him. He's gotta go for the kill. Ten seconds go. left. Ten seconds, man. You got it. There it goes. And well, even though work. they're down player, even though they're down player, they're, they still find the round one. All right. Um, I'm still not getting. Not getting tech pause on my thing. Yeah, they, they they have to do it. There we go. Okay, sweet. That worked out. Zygnus. Oh, Zygnus finding the op kill in mid. Oh, the Sova setup is here, though. Fired his dart already. Unfortunately, you gotta wait like a couple seconds off that one. Skydog coming in. Reach finding the one back site. Another one back site. Here we go! Kind of out immediately. Spike down, B. Last player standing. 2v1 Zorp. I know exactly where he is. Yeah, it's a tough round to win when you have two people running at you at the same exact time. Yeah, well played. Well played crossfire. I need this. That's, almost, that's basically a guaranteed win as soon as you pull that off. Cypher does come out on the legend side though in that 2v1 so that's a good ult for a bear boot to get out looks like legend stacking towards the b site with the cypher here too 
But Bear Boot is looking like they're gonna go A. So the only arena is protecting tree. That's uh, not much to slow down this rush. That's gonna be pretty tough, and he's smoked off now. Bear Boot out on site. Legend coming out heaven. Is dashing in, finding one, but he is traded out. Okay, another Gender not letting the flank happen. Last player standing. And has Vizla finding the last two. I believe they lined up there in the smoke, trying to get the trying to get the tapper. Unlucky That's a good safe ground though, out of Bear Boo. They got the bomb down, they got, I believe, two picks? Two or three, right? Yeah, it ended up being two at, two at the end. There were three, three still standing, but honestly, it was still a good round. They got some damage out, they got the spike down. And now they have buys. So, seeing Zygnus with the Operator again, Creevel going for the Odin one more time. And then, uh, four Rifles and an Ares coming out for uh, offensive side. Yeah, they're setting up towards the B side too, letting the 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 dark go, and not scan anyone too, as they walk into B main. Cipher trips are set trial. up here, so. Oh my phone. Cipher finding one. Oh. one. I still guess the train though. He gets one. Oh, beautiful shot there out of doggos. Zygnus is off shot Spike with tank, planted. put to the double tap shield. God, that is so nasty. This Killjoy ult is gonna hold back the Legend team for a little bit. Legend moving in, retaking the site. Last player standing. 2v1 for Zygnus now. But Bear Boo plays it very well, peeking off of each other, playing with each other. Very well done. Bear Boo pulling off the perfect uh, 2v1 flank. One person, one person in backside, one person on, on top lane. That's a that's a 90 degree fight that somebody has to try and take, and that's just not that's just not happening at the time you're right like they did. Yep. It's a very tough round to win if you're on the legend team. Baraboo playing very well here on their attack side. Look I feel like Ascent is a... Uh, I feel like Ascent is a defense side of map too, so... To find five rounds on their attack here, that's very huge. They might even be able to get six. Cover going out. Well, A hit. He's Only the one. Omen left on dice. TP's up, but that's a free kill. That's a good TP. Now the Reyna goes down after finding one. Nice of ult coming out from Velo. Oh, no, he doesn't. Got three. Doesn't need it. Nice shot there on Velo. Ah. Ah. Nice left into a 3v2 in favor of Bear Boo. Shot coming down. out tree. Finding shot, one. Dirt. It's one hell, one main. Last player standing. 2v1 now. Oh, okay, he blinded himself. Everyone hiding. Oh! Was able to pick up wow. the last kill. No Finding this game the round win. You copies of nothing. Picked up the last three in kills the in that 2v3. Securing the round win for Legend. Great round out of Average Strum. That is a huge oh, round for the nice win. One. That took an off in four rifles out of the hands of uh, yes, this should do. BHS. Sorry, I had my team's back in my head for a second. Um, that was a huge buy round for them. So now Vilu is uh, this goes here. forced to go down to a Spectre. Three Spectres and two rifles coming out of, coming out of uh, BHS. It's offing main here, though. 
Not able to find the pig. Kate's pig. She backs up to stairs. Sky dog coming in, breaking one of the trips. Or actually, no, it doesn't break it now. Just triggered. Looks like uh, backing out. Breach still making a little bit of noise, holding up the rotates here. I like this play out of Baraboo. Let his team rotate while the breach makes a bunch of noise and keeps everyone here. The A site's completely free now. Four people towards B and one on A for Legend. I'm going down in mid, but they're able to find the trade. Only finds one. Traded out. Trade's coming in for both sides. Legend up in a 3v2 now. I'm in on the A site, gain the bomb down. Shadows traveling. 30 seconds left. Like the breach is just lurking here. Last player standing. Spike All the soul comes in as he's trying to plant. Zorb and the breach is orb left in a 3v1. Zorb taking a lot of time here at this point. If you already know Spike's gonna go we can go go down, just run to your teammate. 10 seconds left. There was be switching side. Seven five half in favor of Legend High School. Honestly, not a bad half for either teams. It was very close on both sides. Yep, I agree. That was a great half for both sides there. Baraboo doing very well on their attack, and Legend holding off uh, the attack on some of the sites on very crucial rounds that they needed to win. So. Just all around great job for both teams. It's looking like we got yes, this should do. four ghosts and a classic coming out of Legend High. Baraboo going for two ghosts, two classics, and a frenzy. Zork going for the frenzy. You don't see that too often. Legend setting up towards the B site here. Gonna be in tiles. The cipher lurk towards A. They got the jet into bottom mid. Taking the fight. Breaking them. Duelists. Executing out on B. Oh, and the killjoy mollies bring the Soba down to 1 HP. He managed to TP out. Yeah, but there's four people there for the for the legend team. Or for the Bear boot team. It's gonna be a hard sight to take if you're a legend. Rotating back towards A here. There's only one person here, it's the sky. It's heaven. Let's see if he's able to find anything. Old tracking is just not there. 30 seconds left. Spike planted. Zignus. Spike one. Blinded! Finds another one. One enemy remaining. And finding Speeding the kill out. onto the breach. One by one being the last guy. Yeah, a great job out of uh, Legend there. Kind of working the map space, seeing where the enemy team is at. They got info that there was at least three people towards B, and they also saw the Killjoy util, which should have gave them info that there's four there, and they're able to pivot right away and rotate towards the A site. Just quick thinking and uh, quick doing, which made them win that round. They were able to get onto A before there was anyone even there. They just had their round or the site for free. So, great job out of Legend High School there. But it looks like they're set up towards A. Three people here on the A site for the side of Baraboo. All mid lurk coming out. Oh. Cypher finding the kill onto the sky. 
Now ISO's left alone on the safe site. And he falls. ISO getting pinched by four players Spike right there. Planted. With the Omen Smoke and the Cypher Cage dropping on Zorb. Sorry for finding a second kill for the round. Now Baraboo's left in a 2v5 with no guns. Tart out. Tart destroyed. At this point, they're looking to oh. do any damage. Yeah, Noki doing a good job of that, finding the kill standing. onto the Cypher. Gets the Bulldog down and He's gonna save that gun. Now I don't know if saving the gun was the play here since they were already on a save round. Might as well just die to the bomb, try to get as many kills as you can and buy with your team the next round because now he has a bulldog instead of a Vandal or a Phantom or something. And Right, well looking at it too, he had 2,600 credits before, uh, before purchasing shields. Um, if he oh, ended up so. just going to die, he would have actually had that Vandal. Yep. Got a Judge coming out from Zorp. Let's see what he does with this one. Yeah, interesting buy here out of Baraboo. Cover going out. It's gonna be a full B hit. Got a lure coming out. I, I don't think they anymore. clear him. They don't clear him though. Oh no, find three with that bulldog. And Zygnus is left in a 1v4. Bomb down on the B site lane. He hears the ISO. Not able to land the shots on him though. As Velo picks up the final kill of the round. But great job out of Noki there. Not shooting the rain of flash. And he's just not known by the legend team that he's sitting in the corner there. Able to pick up three off of the Killjoy alarm bot. Killjoy, I believe, found one with her uh, mollies or the Breach found one, not too sure, but Owen picking up three and uh, I still finding the last kill of the round. Very huge round for uh, for Bear Boo to win there. Cover going out. And especially not losing any uh, weapons too. That was awesome trigger, trigger discipline coming out of Noki. Forever. Legend setting up for the A hit. So they're going in quick. Jet dashing in. Oh, finding both kills. No, oh, they set up for the cross. Sky finding one onto Ginder. Bomb goes down. Look how far pushed up they are in heaven. Oh. Already have so much space. You find the kill, but they don't know the jets here. Trigger oh, discipline. They don't clear them. Enemy remaining. My ult's ready. Beautiful play there out of Zygnus. It's the last guy's entry. Blocks finding one. Zygnus is at half. Ooh. Great job playing off of the trip there, not peeking too early, especially since Zygnus is 1 HP there. Anything to his body is going to kill him, so... Beautiful play there out of the Legend High School team. Zygnus with the trigger discipline to find the two kills, waiting for that second guy to uh, walk up and become in his view before taking that first kill. I've seen a lot Very of... Good play. Really good trigger discipline plays coming out of both of these teams here. Zygnus' entry too. The jet dash upgrade yeah, stuff on the end. Classic. Yeah. There's so much space that clears out. Oh, blocks him. But a little bit of this skirmish mid, nothing really happens off of it though. Yeah, three people yeah, fighting out with Kaz though. Zygnus all the way up mid. Looks like they're gonna crunch onto A. I really like this play here out of Zygnus. This is a very weird spread. His team, his team isn't walking up though. Oh no. Oh. 
Oh, unfortunate timing there. Then this guy sees him and they're able to take him down. Perfect breach done now they, absorb. Now they have that ISO shield too. Oh, but two of them fall walking out of the smoke. Woman blind coming in. Oh, I'm 30 kidding. seconds okay. left. 2B3 in favor of. One uh, enemy remaining. Baraboo High Spike School. Spike down B. Spike goes down on B lane. Shadows. Has Vizla left in the 1B3. He's not able to pick it up. That's gonna be a seventh round on the board for Baraboo. Such an even matchup so far, Quinn. Such a great series, great game. There's been there's been so much back and forth too. Like you see each of these teams just slowly learning from each other right now. Like the yep. the wrap from Jet up into A Heaven. That doesn't usually happen until you know. Okay, how does how does this team play? How do they stack? I right now, rip the light from it hasn't them. really looked like uh, BHS has had a whole lot of mid control going and stacking, stacking main. So that's why that was that was able to happen. I saw. I saw coming in. Catches Zygnus. Zygnus winning Zygnus the money finding one. Finding a kill on drone though. I think they're gonna hit a quick off that. I think so. But there are three here and a fourth coming in for uh, Legend. Or for Baraboo, uh, I'm sorry. Jet dashing out on the site. He's alone though. His team is rotating off. Are they gonna know? Bit of a hero play. He did find one three. Down. three. There's a second. And a third. Oh no! <laughs> he knows the last two are there though. He knows that the B site is free. Yep, with that info, sure he died, but he used himself as basically the ultimate shock dart or the ultimate scan dart. He knows Spike planted. the site is open entirely. Yeah. That was a really nice fake there out of the Legend High School team. Like Paz playing off the trip here. Oh, does Paz, Paz find one? Walking in behind for the kill. One Good enemy completely remaining. turned. Well played. Last guy's main in a 1v4. Finds one onto the Omen CT, but Ginder comes upstairs and gets a 1D. Really nice round there out of the Legend team. Good timing from Paz. I like, how, like, I like how he listened to audio and just played off of that and just slowly creeped out. There was no, there was no way that KJ knew he was there. Look at Econ, a very uh, broken buy. Yeah, kind, of, kind of a yeah. broken buy coming out of BHS. Yeah, this is going to be a tough round to win for Baraboo. To reset up towards B. Right away. Heavy mid push. Gaming with blocks is gonna get caught out here. Does he find one? He does. Walking in. Zygnus hurt, hurt his shots though. Does trade him out. Spike down mid. Half is up. He does have time to play off it, but he is only one HP after that wall goes down. Yeah, very even round there. Over there. Though. Just no key. 3v3. Removed. Yikes. Sigma's finding one onto ISO. Omino oh, comes in. Oh, but Breach is here. One Straight enemy remaining. Zig. Zig knows. Spike down A. Zygnus. One to one here, Zygnus, Noki. Heard him go main. Should know that he's there, but doesn't really seem like it. Kind of needs to hurry here. Yeah, not a lot of time. Zygnus can just kick back and just relax if he wants to. Yeah. Yeah, Noki's just taking way too much time. He heard, he heard Zig run into the main space. When he was on cat, so oh, it does stink him up though. G6 half HP, he's got to play. Oh, 
Oh, he smokes off main. What's another death? No. Well played by Thick Vince. Yeah, very well played out of him. That was a very winnable Match round for point. Noki, though. Yeah. He, uh, if he runs out either tree or goes into heaven quick instead of wrapping around heaven, which wasn't really the play, or if he, when he goes out onto the site, instead of smoking that main area where the guy's at, smoke off the bomb and then uh, that gives you uh, gives you the space to like peek out onto the guy and he has to run up to you instead of like spamming through your smoke or something. Right, it's always better way. to smoke the bomb once you have that side space. Right. Well, especially at that point too, like you know, you know where audio is. You hear people. Uh, I know you just exactly. Gotta, you just gotta go fast at that point, because the longer you take, the more the more spike takes down, and that's just hurting you. At that point, my condition is get the spike as fast as you can. Heavy skirmish. <gasps> B-side, holy smokes. Yep, Everyone is here. team's just fighting. The hunt begins! Cypher finding a pick on the sky. Uh, oh, he waits for another time. He has a Spike down, B. <laughs> Bilou, 5 HP. Oh. Attackers win. GG's coming out. That is a win for Legend High School, 13 to 7. Yeah, Legend finding the first map there. Looking very dominant after that. Finding a lot of kills on their attack too. There was a lot of back and forth though. Like that that game was very close. There was there were just little mistakes that you saw coming out of each team. Um yep. I mean we already talked about the the speed of the retake on that that previous round right there, but it was just just little things of uh, timing. There was a little bit of util stuff. I was seeing a lot of like kind of camping and lobby, you know, like so a, a little bit of indecision coming out of coming out of offense sometimes. But honestly, well played from both teams. That was really fun to watch. Yep, very well played. And the duelists, let me tell you, they really popped off that match. Zignis with six first bloods. Bello on the other team with five first bloods. Just both of them doing a great job of finding those early picks getting that space for their team and executing or rotating off of that depending on what they see after and uh just doing a really good job on tag both teams doing very well on attack for ascent which isn't the easiest map to attack on um so great job out of both teams there um we are going to be heading into i believe haven is our next map um Legend High School up 1-0 on the series. Hopefully we can see Baraboo come back for Haven and take us to a map three, which would be split. Be very cool to see. Uh, but we are going to be, uh, are we taking a little break here or are we just going right into it? Uh, looks like Zygnus needs a second. So we're just, just, just gonna give him a minute or two. Um, oh yeah, bathroom break. All right, we'll, just give him a couple minutes so um yeah so the, uh, coming up on haven haven's gonna be a little bit different three sites there's a lot more stuff you can do haven it's always been a weird map in team comp for me the the fact that there are three sites and the fact that there is so much space that you have to cover but at the same time mm -hmm. every every lane is so tight it's always been really weird so i'm looking forward to seeing what they do be interesting to see if they I'm take expecting... us safer again I'm expecting to see the double duelist again uh, from Legends team. Um, it'd be cool to see that too out of Veribu. Uh, you know, I, I prefer the double initiator like we were talking about earlier, um, but I feel like with these two teams that double duelist could be very helpful for helping them like get onto the site and take that early space and just helping their team move up uh, and get onto those sites. and take that space that they want to take um so i'd be i'd be pretty excited to see double duelists of both teams here probably jet reyna or jet iso um Dude, i feel ISO. like jet is definitely the play but yeah iso iso looked pretty work. good on that last <laughs> map yeah yeah but 
I, if he had like another duelist there with him on that last map, like a more of a main duelist, because like ISO is kind of like an off duelist where it, it's some similar to like Reyna, where your util doesn't really help too much, um, like unless you get a kill. So like you kind of need to get a kill in order to like use your util. Um, so like a main duelist such as like Jet or Rays or um, like those two like are the main uh, main duelists. So like one of those two with the ISO or the Reyna or something would be very good to just help them take that space and then you can find the kills with the off duelist. But really good job. Um, hopefully we see double duelists on this next map. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, it looks like everybody's back. So let's just go ahead and dive on into it. Yeah, no, I totally agree though, because if you have a main duelist that clears the space, has people looking towards him, at that point, ISO can just capitalize on it and bam, now you have a tank. He has he has his double tap up, he has all the stuff that he needs to do. You may lose a duelist, but at the same time, you're essentially gonna be gaining almost another life off that double tap shield. Looks like we do see the ISO pick coming out. Yeah, I, I really like this comp out of the Legend team here. Very classic Haven comp. Got the Breach Sova. The Sova's usually playing A-Long on defense, and the Breach is, like, stunning through A-Lobby. Uh, and the Jets working up A-Long or A-Short, trying to find those picks, taking that early fight to uh, the A area. Um, kind of keeping the attackers away from there. And then you also got the Killjoy uh to hold down market or not market but uh b and gar garage and then omens usually playing c kind of jump peeking and getting the info on if they're there or not so i really like this comp very classic haven comp out of the select your agent it's basically um, haven bread and butter coming out of them it's always good to see <laughs> yep yep definitely well the yoru is, is locked this time he didn't just hover him wow. Interesting comp out of uh, Baraboo. You know, I, I was talking about the double duelist, but Yoru and Iso, they're kind of, in my opinion, they're both kind of like the off duelist type of character. So they don't really have a main character or main duelist here. You know, Yoru can kind of be that main duelist, but not quite um, so I much. I, I'm going to slightly disagree on that one. Yoru, well, okay. We'll see how he how he's played, because Yoru is harder to actually turn into a, a main duelist. Mm -hmm. But if played right and if his timing and is correct, done. he can yeah he can totally do it. So yeah, um, I'm looking forward to seeing what he does and if it if it ends up being the, the standard Yoru um, situation where it doesn't really quite work out. Well, unfortunate yeah. you hate to see it, but <laughs> it's it's happened before. <laughs> A haven, an attack side of map, so see uh, see how much Baraboo is able to get on this attack side. Especially when they have the double duelist too, they should be doing pretty well. Kind of a weird setup out of the Legend team. Got the Soba and the KJ set up on C in Garage. Breach playing B, which is expected, Jet on A, which is expected, but the Omen is kind of playing A Heaven, which isn't really so, uh, so, so expected. Yeah, because usually when Omen plays on an off site like this, he plays a, on a main, you know, A or C, he can't reach all the way to the other side with his smokes. He has to play towards mid to be able to actually re capitalize on all of his util. Yeah, a lot of B space taken right away for Baraboo. One hit coming in on each side. Signe is finding another one with that deagle. Putting it work. And he's able to get out. Beautiful shot is always coming out of him. Standing ahead. There they are. Trapped in main, so are just Last player standing. Yeah, and Ginder finding the kill. Last guy bottom mid. Great round out of Legend High. 
Just Ignis finding three with that sheriff. Not a bad pistol round coming out of both teams. There were still still uh, kills found on both sides. Um, I don't know. BHS BHS pulls off a save here. We'll see what they see what they can do. I still still think they got a lot of potential here. So what's your opinion? So it looks like right now we're going to see a, a seaside rush. Um, opinions on rushing without splitting through garage. Oh, I don't think this is good. Just as long as they're able to get out on the site and get past like a smoke or something, which it looks like they are. Yeah. There's, they just need to keep going and take this back site space, which they just kind of get stopped there in the front site. Uh, they get hit by a little bit, util kind of get scared a little bit, and kind of stop and don't keep going. They just need to keep going there and take that back site space, take the fights, and hopefully get the kills onto those guys. And then you have guns too to help you out with the next guys coming in. So if they're able to take that back site space, get those kills along with. Um, I like uh, uh, right after they take that front sight space, then I think they're golden there on that C hit, and it's very winnable for them. That's kind of what I noticed about rush plays as well too. It's just like you said, you the point of a rush is to take advantage of speed, so you you just have to go, get the yep. first kill, keep going because at that point you're trying to capitalize on the fact that you cleared out sight, and you have nobody yeah. else there to de to defend from you until you already have full sight. Yeah, it's gonna be a quick A hit. Jet falling to Bello. Spike planted. Sight is theirs though. That almost got Cypher there. Both teams brawling it out. Bello finding another one on the drum. Trades coming in for both teams. It's left in a 3v2 in favor of Marabu here. Got the cross for Graffiti and Hell. I like this play. Very well played there. Very well played for the Marabu team. We must repeat that. That, that, cross for, that cross for Graffiti and Hell is very difficult to uh, counter. So, if played and right, it's, you can't really do anything about it. So, it's really good to be setting up in that, along with a guy peeking like with you or uh, off of you like in short or default or something. Yup. Well, the angles on it too are just so nasty because by the time you peek out and try and clear Graffiti, it's just you're already in the crosshair of the next guy. Wow, Zygnus, opening shot. Yeah, finding the headshot onto Bello. God, I wish my marshal did that. That shot kind of declared the, the pace of the round. Everybody immediately slowed down off of that. Taking another fight onto the Yoru. Meanwhile, no one really rotating though. Very good job at the legend. Staying where they're at, not over rotating. As does he see the tripwire here? Heal. Uh, he I've got your train. Oh. Kind of forcing fight a little bit too early. Remaining. I know exactly oh, where you Spike planted. Getting trapped with the eagle. Yeah, it's left in a 1v4 here. In favor of Baraboo. See if Ginder can find anything. Oh, one shot of the dream. But man, uh, Legend went up right away there with that pick into the A lobby space and they weren't able to find anything after that. I felt like they were in a really good position for like what Baraboo was trying to do there. They were just kind of sitting in garage. Uh, Legend didn't over rotate at all. They were doing a really good job just like staying in their spot and holding that those positions. But 
they got a little impatient and went up for picks and peeked out and paid the price for it. Yeah, un unfortunately, like it just kind of fell apart in that garage skirmish, and then you know, peeking through garage entry one at a time and on C site that just kind of ate them alive it's a little you bit. You and me. Mm -hmm. Oh, Filu, let's see what the suit one we want. Caught Crevo here, and he gets the shield. Well fought. Well played, coming out here. Off shots from our signals on C site. Yeah, they know the offers here. Last player standing. Spike down, C. Yeah, just very scrappy round. A little bit. Strong opening. It just kind of like fell apart at the end there. That op, that op just tearing up, tearing them up on C site. Yep. Yeah, once they find that up, they just need to peek him together. Either go out and peek together as a team and ensure that trade goes in, or either back up and go somewhere else after they know that op opera is there. They just kind of kept peeking one by one, and Zig finding another one. Starting off the round with a pick into the A lobby area. I do like this reposition out of him. He was caught a little bit out in the open, but he managed to pull it off. Double tap coming in clutch again. Last player standing. Urbu running on B. Planted. Fellow on for the ace here. No distractions. Misses the ult. Zorp finding the last. Zorp taking the ace. <coughs> Excuse me. There's another one of those rounds where Legend is finding that first kill with the uh, with the up, and then there's not able to get anything after that. Yeah, I noticed uh, the off shot is taken, and then after that, um, we just start taking kind of. Losable fights, you know. We will yep. reveal their you, you can't, you can't just throw away that advantage at that point. Play, play, uh, uh, play two v ones, you know. Play crossfires. Take, take advantage of the fact that you now have numbers. Yeah, two more still back site though. Third one coming in. Does somehow get the third off though. Spike planted. Oh, Zig finding two with the knives. One enemy remaining. And another one. And a fourth. And he's able to find the fourth. Wow. That round was such in favor for Baraboo there. <laughs> well, Easy. There's I guess a two v four, I believe, and they're able to find all four on the. Oh, with, with the knives there. I guess that's just the theme of the game, where if you have advantage on paper, it just doesn't end up working out for you. <laughs> We've seen that now. Yep. Quinn, I'm noticing it's another one of those games where the duelists are really popping off here. Zig, 12 and 3 and he, w with that op. And then Bello on the other team, 12 and 6. 12 kills within seven rounds for both of those players. Yeah, both of them just completely popping off. They're definitely in their element here, that's for sure. Yeah, all five of the Baraboo team is outside of B here. Maybe it looks like they're going into garage. Tried to, yep, they did. Kurvo finds the kill on Tabello, but Doggos instantly trades him back out. Doggos going for another fight. Finds the kill. Now he has old for the last three players. Knows in instantly where they're at. He should know that there's no one C here. Looks like the guys they make their way over there. Spike 
planted. Spike planted. I so know exactly one. where you are. Oh, you can't hide from Light that. coming in. Okay, you're not going for the rifle. Is that his feet? Last player standing. Sig left in a 1v2 here. <laughs> Suck does get him. One enemy remaining. Oh, this is hugely Aww, winnable, at least though. Tried. And he finds it. Wow. You know, I don't think that was a 1v4, but he Come still on. finds the last four guys in the round. And man, and I wasn't even trying. it's just so hard to beat Zig. Yeah, there is there is just no stopping him. He's in his element when it's when it's in a clutch moment, that's for sure. He really is. Man, he is feeling it this game. 16, 3, and 1, and it's only been uh, 8 rounds, so he's getting, on average, 2 kills per round. Yeah, he, 8 of his kills have been from 2 rounds now. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if he can find another one. Go. Nope. I don't know, but Baraboo just kind of keeps walking into that. Yeah, they have been... They, they, they should know that he's there. He's done it quite a few times. He's been hopping C long also. He hasn't hopped mid at all this whole game. But he's been finding the picks at A lobby, C long. So, peeking Spike that down. again and again, I don't think is the best play. Well, especially not with Util. Like, you know he's holding that angle, you know he's he just sits there every time. You have, like, especially if you're Yoru, you have a decoy, you have a flash, you have so much you can do. Hell, you could even TP into his face, like, that's that would completely throw him off. Yep. Or even better, if you really want to. Oh, okay. This is, this is the troll in me, but like, okay. You set up a decoy in a lobby, right? TP into sewers. And then send the decoy through a lobby so he sees you walk across. <laughs> see if he goes for it, then you just meet him on a site. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> it's a lot of setup, and like it, it wouldn't work if I pulled it, if I tried to pull it off. But <laughs> that's just there, there's so much you can do. Bearboo setting up for a here. Running across again without really any util. Oops, my finding the kill. Yeah, his first off shot missed, but it looked like he got got redemption on that second one there. Oh, did he find another one? They're still just dry swinging him. Yep, again, sky flashes, your flashes, anything. You know there's people on site, use your util. Sounds like the Yoru heard us. He's cool for the slashes. There we go. One less. does fall. One enemy One remaining. Uh, Has not even pulled off. Time to hunt. Yeah, but Sky gets shock darted out while she's in her dog. And that's another round for Legend. Going into 7 3, what's Econ look like? Oh, Econ is not good right now for Thunderbirds. <clears throat> the Econ's not very good. I'd, I'd prefer to see a B hit, a quick B hit, smoke off both of the links, C link and A link, and then just run it down B, try to get anyone that's on site, and then. Once you start planting the bomb, take that A link space. Who's next? Kind of go over there and take Come some of that down. and do the round after that. Are you finding all the info here? Sees that there's two here. Ended. Does manage to get the entry kill? As full blind about the or decoy. Yeah, but the killjoy ult's coming in here. They're not gonna be able to take it down. Standing. Gaming from Garage. Man, it's just such a scrappy round, but Legend coming out oh, no, no. on top. Recalling my bot. Very, very close round though. Last round before the switch. 
There are uh, four ults on the board now from BHS. I feel like they could probably secure this round. ISO ult is going to be powerful, especially if they can if they can pull jet. Turn out. They know where he sits. I feel like that would probably be a decent one that you want to try and take in uh, in ISO ult. Look out yeah, for their rift preferably walker. I'd like to see either uh, a Yoru flash or a sky yes, flash in the long area. Yep. Iso does find the ult onto the breach. And he finds a kill. There's another. Vandal materializing out of thin air for his doggos. Zigna is coming out though. Uh, uh, also the Odin spam. I know yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's really unfortunate for Zig, but... As finding oh, one, it's only gets traded by Noki. So we'll coming in. Wow, and that's the fourth round for Baribu. Switching well sides. Well played. Well played for for BHS. BHS Baribu. It's the uh, same thing. I just say BHS, but I should probably play some for stars anybody out there wondering who, which one is which. I should do. Yeah, very dominant CT side there of the legend. They just looked unstoppable. Always finding that entry early pick with the jet. And the rest of her team just kind of either finding the kills or the jet just straight clutching up. It's like finding one. Ginder finds the other one on A, and that is the A site completely for free. Zigs all the way in. Already. Oh, he gets past the Cypher trip. That's huge. They don't know he's there. <laughs> Got him. Cypher falls. Four v two in favor of Legend. Uh, Did you find one on the Baz? Baz with the classic KJ lurk, unfortunately, just doesn't work out. This is a really winnable round. Ziglo. One enemy Another's remaining. too short. Nice. Not able to hit the shot, so. Snack time. Nicely played. <laughs> Only brought enough for me. That is going to put Legend at the advantage again. They're uh, currently 9 4. Buy's coming out. Guardian for Zygnus. Man after my own heart. I love going to Guardian on the uh, first buy round. Here. Let's go. Here. Looks like we're gonna see a C hit here. Ooh, dart tag one. Zig already out on site, finding the one kill. Very nice entry frag out of him. Not looking amazing in GT. Killjoy lurking up. Oh, look how far into garage window Killjoy is. They don't know. They don't know. One enemy remaining. Flawless. Paz. Paz with the creeping KJ. Yeah, that lurk out of him is very good. I really like to see the Killjoy lurk on uh, on Haven. Just kind of placing your turret mid like he's been doing uh, and doing what you want. Finding some space, carrying rotates, you can do a lot. Much slower. Only, com 
my only complaint about that killjoy is that turret is a little too far back if you were to place that a little bit farther forward at like the start of the round on those boxes then you can watch all of like the mid space like the front b space if anyone's walking up there it's gonna catch them out with that turret it's gonna catch them out so just a little bit better you know that he can place but not a huge deal yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. It's gotta be a little bit more forwards, but aside from that, seeing how the round is playing right now, I don't know if he's really gonna need it. Spike planted. Uh, they pulled Earthaise all, all the way over to A. Seaside was a good right now. Stay down. Finding two, and a third. My ult's ready. Oh my god, the one taps are real. One and the fourth. Guardian Ace would be beautiful. It's doable if Doggo's this one shot. Oh. Here. Footsteps, he knows where he is. There's the ace. You should have seen your faces. Second ace Very coming out. From now, Zig. That is yeah, Zig's that's the second, second one of the three. <laughs> yeah. He is feeling it today. That is now 30 kills in the game. He is 30 and 5, ladies oh and God. gentlemen. 6.0 KD. Yeah, he's doing really good. Looks like they're wanting to hit A here. So Vidart is going to catch out that sky. <laughs> Same spot as he was before. Huge oh, kill though. Kill on the zig. Spike Trades down. coming in for both sides though. And we're left into a 3v3. It may be a 3v3, but Zygnus does drop as a star player, so it's going to be a much more difficult round. From both sides. One enemy remaining. Left into a one, one v one. A. An average drum finding the kill on the Zorb to bring Legend to match point. It's match point. Well, four. Uh, buys are not looking amazing for VHS at the moment. Guardian, not bad. Phantom, Vandal, still good stuff. We got two Ares though, so that's gonna be a little bit of an uphill battle. Not full shield coming out of everybody. Get out of my way! See hit coming out for Legend. Ow. Oh, Zygna, Zygna's entry is taken out. Anyone else? Give him blocks finding two on the round. Oh, Noki. One enemy remaining. Spike down. Find... One has this stuff. Is left in a 1v2. Bellow wow. gets the kill. Well played by BHS. The Yoru. Yoru getting two ben hits, ben. especially on uh, on that Zygnus entry, being able to stop that momentum was huge. That that almost single-handedly won them the round. Yeah, he also threw that decoy, which uh, I believe Legend shot instantly, which <laughs> blinded them. He was able to swing out, get another pick. Yeah, off of that, very nice show. He was about a, an inch away from taking out Breach as well when he jumped up. It was just a little bit of movement error Show that kind of took him out. <laughs> Gaming oh, sitting there watching the entire team. Without knocking them. Looks like Legends pushing up C site. Bazorb finding two. That's bomb. One enemy remaining. Wait, not a 2v1. What am I? Oh, it's ISO ult. That's why. One enemy remaining. Oh, 
Yeah, a little questionable, a little close. They didn't really need to be that close, especially since uh, they kind of heard him running out CT there and should know that he's not B after you hear that, but. Right. Looks like a little bit of a reverse sweep coming out here for BHS. Yeah, we'll see if they're able to keep it going and keep the momentum. Pull I it off, take us into overtime. I they, feel like this they need six doable. more rounds. Hello, finding the first kill, but the trade coming in. I set up in short here. They don't know. Very spam coming out again. No Weird spike left. placement, not on default this time. Game of blocks. Yeah. Gutsy play out of heaven. Doggers finding one, give me a block, finding the other. Remaining. Doggo's finding three on the round from that short area. Close. You're just never cleared out. They all went through, uh, they all went through long. They had no clue he was there. Yeah. Well, it just goes to show you, if you hit a site, you always have to send two people down to, down to sewers. Like, they they take out yep. the other person that's sitting there or clear it. You kind of have to split, or if, uh... If you're like kind of struggling, like if you if you found uh, someone in short, then your people in long can run out on the site and then crunch that guy short with you. Uh, if you're like in the sewer area, so one of those two options: either split or crunch it with your teammates. Yep. Sky flash not hitting anything. Got one though. Buried. Two. The second. Maybe finding the third. Has landing the one Bottom outside close. of the uh, one enemy the remaining. Yeah, Doggo's Spike finding a third. A. Like this might seal the deal here. Has, uh, oh. has left in the one before, not able to pick it up. That was a save round for Legend, though. We're going to be uh, seeing a full buy coming out of them. This is a very crucial round for uh, Baraboo High School to be winning. See if they can pull it off. I'm seeing uh, two Odins coming out of Baraboo again. If the Doggo hasn't fought yet. This is a nice spot. Let's see what he's going to play with. Phantom looks like. He's loving the Phantom, I noticed. Glad it's working out for him. I can never make it, never make it work because that's on like you know, a rainy Tuesday. It just it doesn't happen. And they're all the way into garage. Oh, Zygmunt's is tracking. You hate to see it. Average drum finding the kill on Debello. This BHS is planning onto the C site. Trade coming in onto the Killjoy. Yoru TPing behind Silva while he's in ult. <laughs> it was beautiful. One enemy remaining. There's another. They know the last guy's long in the cubby. Oh, oh Noki's gonna have little. eight bullets here, though. That's the round win. Don't even stop that shit here, mate. Doggo trading out. <laughs> Please tell me you saw the Yoru play. Yeah, I, I saw that TP. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty good. That was awesome. He got traded out afterwards, but he still... That was a free kill on Sova. But uh, BHS making the comeback here. Yeah. Very, very crucial round for them to win there as a full buy out of uh, Legend High School. Oh, hey, no, yes. Zig just really kind of hasn't done anything in a little bit. Like, I, I mentioned he was at 30 kills. He was 30 and 5, I believe, and 
He hasn't gotten a kill since. Been six deaths, no kills. Breaking them. Unfortunately, they've, uh, let's say they've, BHS has kind of picked up on his, his entry strategy. And as I say that, <laughs> there's one. No distraction. Oh, I saw ult does not. It does. I saw he's gonna die though, no matter what. Yeah, he's, he's surrounded. Spike down so A. Finally, three on the round. And that is going to be the round win for Legend, taking the map, taking the series. Beautifully played from both teams, holy smokes. That was a very, very good series. Very close, both maps going down to the wire. You know, Ascent was a little bit not as close, but it felt like both teams were very even. Both teams were kind of trading rounds and then... Uh, Legend just kind of got on that momentum shift. Um, and then with this Haven map, you know, it was kind of a, a sweep for Legend on their defense. They they went, I believe, 8-4 and then won four rounds in a row on their attack to bring it to 12-4. But then BHS battled back to bring it to, uh, I believe, 12-9, if I'm not mistaken. So great job out of them and just showing that they're there to compete and they're trying to win. They're they're not gonna give up, uh, even though they're on match point and down um, eight rounds. So they're just gonna keep going and try to get that that dub in the map and bring it to a map three. But unfortunately, they're not able to, and they fall to legend. Um, but yeah, that is going to be the first series for us today. Um, we are going to be seeing Baraboo High School play next against. Uh, let me uh, it's gonna be not mess up the name again. Uh, Baraboo versus uh, Berthud. Berthud, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to take about 15 minutes to kind of take a break and get everybody set up and in here, uh, get bathroom breaks for all the players and everything. And after that, we're just going to roll right into the next one. So we're looking at about 11.45-ish, maybe 11.50 for start time. So everybody out there, stick around. we got another good, good couple matches coming up because later on, we're also going to have... Uh, uh, excuse me, Legend coming back, and they're they're gonna play Berthud for the closing uh, best of three. So, yeah, looking forward to seeing how all that goes. So, yeah, make sure you stay tuned, and uh, we'll be back shortly. Take care, guys. We'll see you soon.
Hello and welcome back to the Fall Champions uh, Valorant Tournament. We've got uh, three teams playing here today. We are about to watch uh, BHS, uh, which is Baraboo High School. They're about to play Berthud High School. Um, so it should be a pretty good matchup. We have not seen Berthud play in our tournaments yet, um, but we just got done watching uh, BHS play against Legend, and Legend won that uh, series 2-0, but some very close maps, and uh, so we're looking forward to seeing this next one. Um, but it looks like they are getting their map picks and bands done right now, and then we are going to get started shortly after that. Um, but it should be a pretty good matchup here, and should see some pretty new stuff out of uh, Berthud and hopefully see some new stuff out of BHS also. Yeah, we're looking forward to actually seeing uh, who Berthud is, what the skill level is, how they play. Like like you said, it's the first time we've actually seen them before, so um, they'll be really neat to see just how this team plays. I think uh, BHS is a really good team to start out against. They're, they seem to be like really well coordinated, they have a lot of stuff going on, but they're also like not going to just like stomp you into the ground like as soon as you as soon as you see them um so it'll be cool to kind of see like okay where are they among everything how does how does Thud play uh i'm looking forward to it it's gonna be cool yeah it looks like uh sunset is banned we were hoping to see that in the previous series but not gonna see it in this one either um looks like uh bhs banned that right away um unfortunately we're really hoping to see it mean Quinn work. Um, but oh, they Lotus made, gets banned. And Lotus too. No, those are all the cool maps, man. They're taking them away. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing the Spur Thud team play and compete today. I'm looking to see what they are going to bring to the table. Um, and hopefully they're able to get something going against this BHS team. Uh, we've seen this BHS team though. They're they're pretty good, uh, very good players. And um, once they get that momentum going, like in that last map, then they just kind of don't stop and they just keep it going and keep winning rounds after that momentum. Um, same thing we saw in Haven. They were down 12-4. We're able to bring back uh, five rounds in a row on Legend High School and bring them back to 12 9. And so, just a really big momentum team. And once they start winning those rounds, then they're going to win quite a few more after that. Um, and it's pretty hard to stop them. Yeah, well, but especially once they settle into their. Once they settle into, into their play style and once the nerves are kind of shaken off, you know, <laughs> they tend to do a little bit a little bit better as well. I noticed, so it'll it'll be cool to see like how they how they settle in because they just they just finished playing a, a series already with um, uh, spacing on the name. How do I space on that? Legend. Legend. Thank you. For some reason, yep. I thought I thought they were BHS. <laughs> Wrong. Um, they just finished playing as Legend, so that was already two games out of the way. They've already they were starting to play like even better as as time went on. Like we saw them come back from uh, twelve to four. They brought it to twelve eight. So they're they're in their element now. I think they'll they'll probably be good to go here. Yeah, they're kind of just getting warmed up those first couple maps, but should be pretty warm for this uh, next one. Looks like a scent was picked first, which uh, we saw BHS and Legend play first map. Um, so, probably going to be something pretty similar for the BHS side. Uh, we saw that ISO, we saw, uh, I believe, Sova, Breach, um, it was, Cypher, yeah, it was, and uh, Omen, I believe. Yeah, Jet, Sova, Breach, Cypher, Omen, I think. ISO instead of Jet. That's right. But, that's right. Yeah, the ISO pick is actually really cool. He's he's interesting because uh, a lot of time, a lot of the time, like his ult, when you pull it out, his ult seems really weird to play around because when you pop it, you think, oh, okay, that's that's something I need to stay away of, stay away from. But at the same time, it takes ISO out of the map entirely. So he takes away one of your players, but he also isolates 
himself out and makes it, he frees up space for you so it's it's really really weird seeing how he plays it's really weird seeing how to counter result i mean the counter result okay you're gonna lose a guy but you gotta run at him which is which is really weird because usually when it when it all goes up especially from a especially from a duelist the play is get away from him or try and kill him first but it's just not gonna happen so yeah and you know there isn't like that that ult is very counterable like there's it's not a guarantee that he is going to win but even if he does win like the fight then um whoever he grabs if his team pushes in and they like take that space where that iso was at then he's gonna die when he comes out of that ult even if he wins inside he's gonna get killed um so i don't really think there's a whole lot of value to their ult um I think Jet would be better um, just for getting into the sites and uh, taking some more space, uh, which they kind of struggled with a little bit um, the last time we saw them on uh, Ascent. But um, yeah, if they're just able to get into the site and take that space, break the the Cypher trips if there are any, or break the Killjoy util, then I think they'll be perfectly fine and uh we're, we're gonna see them probably win this this ascent map if they're able to do that yeah i'm looking forward uh, to that looks like bind was picked second here yeah it looks like uh ascent with Berthoud or sorry for thud misreading it people have told me six times now how to pronounce it for thud is going to be doing uh defending start on ascent so that'll be cool um they're taking the defensive start away from BHS. So BHS almost always exclusively plays defensive side for starting. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see how they start off, you know, kind of out of their element on attacking side. It'll be cool. Just getting the last couple maps figured out here before we get started. I'm gonna go ahead and get the overlay set up too for Everybody, make sure we've got the teams all in the right places and stuff for you. Reset score and all that stuff. BHS is, oh, it's easy. BHS is going to stay where they are, so that works perfectly. Fracture Band. Uh, lost Map Haven. Fracture is not in the map pool. So. <laughs> yeah, let me tell them. I believe it's between Haven and Sunset, or no, Haven uh, and... Haven and Split. Split Spend Band. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh, yep, there it is. Yeah, Breeze. Breeze is what I was looking for. <laughs> okay. Forget Breeze is in the map pool. <laughs> I wish it wasn't, dude. I despise Breeze with a burning passion. Such a bad map. Take it back out. Yeah, make it go away. <laughs> I don't want it. Looks like Haven's gonna be uh, gonna be tiebreaker if we end up going to that. Yeah, we're going to be playing Ascent first, followed by Bind, and then Breeze or no Haven. Sorry. Cool. All right. Uh, got maps set up already. We got. Overlay is good now. So yeah, should be good to go as soon as these guys are ready to go. Just dive in. Ours, yep, ours all the way through, all right. Well, here we go. Kick that off, swap over. Yeah, excited to see what uh, BHS picks here. Wonder if it's gonna be the same thing or if they're gonna change it up. Bello going with that ISO, which we just saw. Game with blocks hovering on chamber this time. Please do it. I would love to see somebody play chamber again. No, <laughs> swapping to Brim. So we're going with that Cypher, which we saw the last time. Cypher, I feel like it's hard now because between Cypher and Killjoy, Killjoy is still just the god of sentinels but 
Cypher now with the, with the recent buffs and everything. He is so powerful. I love, I love that they finally gave him some good stuff. For Thud locked in with the Jet Breach, along with the Neon Sage and the Omen. Pretty decent comp there. Like I was mentioning earlier in the previous series, we don't really see that Breach very much uh, on Ascent, but I don't think it's too bad as long as your team is able to like push in and uh, swing the agent. people after they, they get stunned and get those get those kills on the stun people or the flash people as long as your team is pushing in with it then it's fine but you don't really see it too much uh, looks like we are going to be seeing a ko on the bhs side along with doggos on sky iso we got brim and the cypher so a little bit different i'm pretty sure uh Pretty sure they were playing Omen last time. They were. Instead of Brim. Sky was the same, and instead of KO, they had Sova. But a little bit different. Just changing up uh, a couple characters. I kinda like the I kinda like the changes. Brimstone on this map is really good. I still I don't know. I, I lean towards Omen just because I am terrible with Brimstone, but that is by no by no means any reason to <laughs> to not pick Brimstone in this case for these guys. Brim is really good. He's really strong. His ult is amazing in post play and it covers so much area on this map. And there are so many places that you can shoot a molly to just completely prevent any sort of defuse. Like he's he's really, really good. So I'm looking forward to seeing what gaming can do with him. Yeah. And that molly is also really good for when they're uh when they're the enemy team is like pushing out of the main and onto the site you know that molly can come in and just kind of block them off from pushing allow your team to rotate or if there's already one on the site and you molly that off then you kind of isolate that fight on the guy on the site and no one from the main can come in and trade so molly is very good Yeah, we are going to get into the match here. For Thud on defense. PvP Madness for real. That's a go to name if I've ever seen one. Looks like they're uh, stacking the A site here. Got three people over there, both their duelists. Over there. Sage is going to be walling the main. Breaking down. Show me a target. The brush coming out. Do they stop at the smoke? They don't. Got the crumb immediately Damn. traded out. Trades coming in though for both teams. It's an even three v three here. Sword finding one onto the jet. Plant coming in Fight inside of planted. BHS. PvP finding the kill onto this warp though with his uh, aftershock. Like out of heaven, a little bit of crossfire here. One guy, one one gen, one hell. Player standing. The right clicks coming in for both teams, but PvP going down and no keep finding the kill. The last two. Very close round, though. Yeah, Thunderbird is pulling off a close pistol round, but honestly, well played from both sides. Neon starting off with a cheeky angle on Rick's man, like that. That is nasty. Like a piece I guess keep this time. Reaping oil just sitting around the stage wall. Pops it off, gets broken immediately. Man, and there's in the sight, running it down so quick. 
they're pushing CT. They're, they're looking for more. I think uh, Last they definitely set. learned from previous game where if you rush, you just gotta go in. Look at that. Yep. They they break Sage wall, rush in before Sage can even get out, take essentially two free kills on B site, and bam, now now they're forcing uh, Bertha to play a full retake. Yeah, great job out of BHS there. Going quick. Getting those kills. But, uh... Or, uh... Yeah, yeah. We, we are going to be seeing a buy out of Berthud here. First buy of the game. Sky dog coming in. Really good on the blind. Oh, but the ISOs worked up in three. They have no clues here. Finds two. Spike planted. One enemy remaining. Bomb going down on the side. Sage is left into a 1v4, but she's not able to do anything and she goes down. And that ISO into the tree, pushed up into the tree area. They had no clue that he was even there or anywhere near there. They were looking towards the door and he's just able to find two kills and really uh, bring the momentum of, momentum of the round into BHS's favor. So really great job out of him. Yeah, that's just something you gotta be aware of, unfortunately, especially on this map, unless you see all five in main. There is going to be somebody lurking either through tree or even up through mid behind you in a spawn. Could be another A hit. Looks like they're going quick. Iso lurking in mid. But is he gonna know the neon push up he made? Spike down A. He's not gonna know. It's you and me. One enemy remaining. Neon finding the kill onto him. And Broomstone is left into a 1v3. Finds the kill onto the jet. One enemy remaining. And he finds the kill onto the Neon. And he gets the fourth in the round to bring BHS the round win. Gaming coming out with a clutch. Such a close round there, but barely goes in favor of BHS. You know, that's just a round you can't lose if you're Bethud. You're in a 1v3 or a 3v1 situation, and you know exactly where he's at. You just gotta kind of peek together instead of giving the that guy 1v1s and giving him 1v1s instead of peeking together it just makes it so much more winnable for him. And it's tough. Great. Ooh, spree of the hogs to find a kill. Down and gets another one onto Gecko. Rolling one out. Heaven is. Eh, Heaven's almost completely locked off. Noki. Traded up by Reaping Oil. Gets one. Hey, no, there's one. Should we two here? Did you have Grimmolt? Remaining. Grimmolt is going to be coming in. Air for hellfire. I think you won the round off that. I think so. I don't think they have time. Oh, no, they don't have time. Wow. Clutch. Well played. The yep, there comes that Brim. There goes that Brimmolt yeah, already. Just saved them. Round five, yeah. Take a look at Econ. Uh, Brithud slightly broken by us across the field. They have uh, three rifles, it looks like. They can't afford Guardian. PvP can't afford a Guardian. Um, looks like he's choosing not to, though. Yeah, you know, even though they've lost five rounds in a row, they're still getting a lot of money because they've lost so many rounds in a row without winning one. 
And so they're basically able to just keep light buying or full buying every single round now. Great. Now that they have that win bonus. JHS pushing up onto the B site. Gecko finding one onto the ISO. Flash coming out. I don't think anybody knows him. Dispatched. Spike down, B. Coming in. Last guy is alone on site. Game of blocks left alone in the clutch situation. Is he able to win it? He is able to pick up the fourth kill in the round again. Another clutch, back to back clutches for gaming with blocks there. Very great stuff out of him. Gaming going off right now. 16 and 3. He's a. Uh... <laughs> He's uh, putting Velu and uh, Zygnus in their place after last game. Yep. He's going for MVP this time, man. <laughs> like stacking towards A side on offense. Let's see what happens here. Smoke's down. Castle the chroma. The red angle. Off shots Looks coming out like from mid. Hopping Cypher. Looks like Burst Dodge is going to be stacking this A site though. We've got four people over here so far. Good attempt. Reaping Oil gets two kills with the Spectre. It's sitting in the cringe corner, man. It always works out. Nobody clears it because once you once you get deep in sight, you, you just think, oh yeah, we're we're fine, we're safe. But no, all you gotta do is just sit there. It's almost free kills. Wonder, where is everyone hiding? EHS only finding uh, finding their first kill though. That off shot almost hit it. Gonna, uh, going out B site. Oh, there are three, three operators on the board. I just realized that. Really? Thirty seconds. <laughs> oh yeah, there are. Belu, Zorbis, Dagos are just triple offing. Spike planted. Three v three situation here. Make that a two v three. Trade comes in. Belu is one shot. Last player standing. Sort finding the odd kill. Oh, you just gotta peek off that. Unfortunate, but as soon as oh, I almost shoot. gone down, oh, so we're picking up the fourth kill. He's an opper. They, uh, <laughs> they, they think they're all offers that round. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was just three ops and two guns, or if it was five ops. Yeah, I'm not too sure. We do see three ops again, though. And all three of the ops are peeking top mid. Oh, man. A side is heavy stack, so... We'll see, uh... Up on it. Ops already paying off. Cage triggered. Boo. Sitting here, he hears neon. My ult is not scary. It's you and me. I saw what missing. Here. They hear plenty in markets, I know. Stealing oh, sight. I don't think they know that the last two are here though. Maybe they do and they're just going for the kills. I the right play would be to go to A. Yeah. I don't think stage has made any presence. Oh now they have they know. As long as that bomb doesn't go into sight. Oh, I guess it's already dropped logs though, but they do find the win. 
It's a little close, but still able to pick it up. That brings us to 8 0 in the match. Looks like uh, I'm just kind of struggling just a little bit. Looking kind of uh, struggling to get get something going and spent a lot of very close rounds, but they're not quite able to pick up anything. Right now, it looks like they're yeah. There's another. That's another five op setup. I've never actually I've never actually seen this before. Um, Thud right now, I guess this is just a, a time for them to practice practice fighting against operators. As soon as one shoots, you know, if you if you think if you think they're isolated, you can you can swing off the shot. Um, you got to swing your angles fast, swing wide. They have, I know they have plenty of util right now. They have to. Uh, you know what? Yeah, Morpheus has Morpheus has full util. Breach has util here. He's got a he's got a breach alt. He could breach out breach out all the way through mid. I think the option top one's a little scared. Can you keep finding the first kill on the Zorb? Keeping loyal, finding another one onto Doggos. Gaming of blocks, getting the trade though onto Morpheus. Got the spike. Let's hold the strong fire right here. Remaining. Last player oh, Judge comes out. Spike down. The Bucky Wait. finding three. Bucky for the win. The round. And that's the first round on the board for Berthud. Ber well played by Castle. Reach all still on the board. With that round loss, that forces BHC to have a, you know, suboptimal buy round. They're all on Aries now. <laughs> so. And you know, even though they won eight rounds in a row, losing one round brings them down to a save. That is crazy. I've got your trade. Yeah, not like doing the best in the Rico. No, even if even if you're up that high, you can't just go like buying operators like candy, man. Like you, they're still forty-seven hundred credits. Exactly they're still expensive. Where you are. Looks like the odds are in their favor right now again, but. Standing. Hello, finding one with the dog. The dog goes finding the last kill into reaping oil. We know more than we did before. Nine to one. Uh, BH. BH favor. Baraboo's favor. Yeah, you know, it looks like Baraboo is much more warmed up now than they were in that very first game that they played against Legend. So, you know, I, I'd like to see them go back and play that map again and see who comes out on top because, you know, this squad is looking very good and they're looking unstoppable. If they were playing Careful like this there. when they were playing against... Uh, when they're playing against Legend, then I think the that map definitely goes into BHS's favor. That's kind of how I'm feeling as Fight well. Planted. They're they're covering each other's angles really well. They're playing off each other really well. They're pushing together. That's not something that you that you, we were seeing uh, in the previous games. Last player standing. Oil does manage to get one. Gotta go. Castle. I'm out. Here it. <laughs> Oh, unfortunate. Almost finds the kill. Last round in the half. Almost a really pretty slide, slide Bucky. What the buys looking like? Three Odins, a Vandal, and a Operator. The Odins are gonna be gross. This map's made of paper mache. It looks like Beach is just having fun now. Rathud does have rifles this time though, so they have three rifles of uh, Phantom and Odin. It's you and me! Looks like Sage is coming in. Up. Well, finding the kill. Yeah, Baloo with the Odin. Breaking them. Castle can pull off another cheeky kill here. Doggo's falls the 
gecko and the bomb drops. There's four people here in, on the on the Berthud side, but all of a sudden two of them fall. Cypher lurking through spawn, finds two. Sorry, finds one. Now Neon's left in a 1v3. Oh no. Just like that, the motor. Mirror just wins. Switching sides. Man, that that run was really looking in favor of uh, Berthud. Looks like they definitely secured the round after they had four people on that B site. They had bombed down out by uh, logs. It looked very, very winnable for them, but somehow they're oh, all dying nice and falls down to a one v three, and not yeah, a lot you can do against the. I saw a couple of a couple of crucial things. So, Breach in CT uh, was really unlucky. He ended up peeking out with his uh, with his clear equipped rather than rather than with his gun. So he just walked straight into a straight into an Odin. Can't really fight that, you know, not not with the clear out. So you got to just have a rifle when you're ready for it. For it. Um, I don't know if anybody called a cipher. Cipher peeked out as well from spawn. So that ended up sideswiping Sage in the background. Spike down, B. One enemy remaining. Thud heading towards B, but... They just get stopped in the B main. Flight comes in. Match point. They're fighting to the end. Typical and pointless. A little bit of friendly banter going back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> BHS on match point though. 1211. Or 12 1. 12 1. <laughs> I was say, where'd, you, where'd you see those? The other 10 rounds. <laughs> this, would, uh, this would be really awesome for BHS if they could close it down 13 1. And for They oh, find four. two. First two picks. Launching smoke. They gotta go now off of those picks. They can't be waiting around. Loud now that Molly standing. comes in, and they're blocked off. They know he's here. Flawless. Look at that. That's a flawless round. Beautiful. Well played. Takes him up to, takes him up to 212. We might, uh... Well, let's see with that. Ooh. Okay, BHS is, BHS is forcing on this one. Looks like we might see a stinger rush. Well, stingers in the long range, so okay. Um, for Thud, looking like they actually have rifles and stuff here. If they play this right, they can avoid the stinger rush. <sighs> Falling already. Keeping oil on you first. Do they know about this guy, Wine, though? I don't think they do. I don't think they clear him. He's, he's gonna be a problem if they don't clear him out. Oh, trigger display. Game of two. And the flank coming in. Doggo's finding one. They're trapped. For Thud is trapped here. Last player standing. Oh, the reload. One. Doggo's finding the last two. And BHS win map one. No sense. That's so unfortunate right there. That last, that last engagement, the reload. The reload lost him that fight. Cause I feel like so main was blocked off with the Molly, the Brimstone Molly. The uh Veli just kinda like ran through. He ended up paying the price for it. But if PvP had a few more bullets in his gun, I think he wins that fight against Sky, because Sky wasn't looking at him. It would have been pretty close. And you know, they got that first blood too there and uh I think if they just keep going, clear out that wine area, and sure, they, they can't see that guy in wine like we can, but, you know, j just go and clear that real quick and uh, see if anyone's there. You know, the Sage was already over there, kind of uh, holding main from that side. Um, so if she just clears it out real quick, they probably get the trade, even if she does die. And then uh, much more winnable round, they're able to go into sight. Um, I just want to see them be a little more aggressive, uh, to be honest. Like, after they find those picks, because, uh, you know, they, they really aren't struggling too much to find those first bloods. 
They had, let's see, seven first blood set game. That's not bad at all. That's pretty good. Um, but there's not pushing in after they find those picks. They find the pick and they kind of just push up a little bit and stop. Um, they just kind of need to keep going onto the site, get onto the site, take that space, and then uh, hold that space after that. Once you get onto the site, then you can stop and kind of chill out a little bit. But yep. very beginning of the round, get that kill and push up, keep going. Um, but very good game out of BHS there. Uh, next map is going to be Bind, and we are going to get started here very shortly. Looks like both teams are ready. So, uh, yeah, we can just. Yeah, we're going to get started. Go ahead and dive in. All right. This is the first time seeing Bind this series. It'll be interesting to see uh, what the team cops end up being. I'm expecting to see a Sky out of BHS. You know, uh, Doggos usually plays that, and Sky is really great on Bind, so. I'm thinking the okay. Sky Brimstone. Oh. I, I was wrong. Whoa, okay, this I'm is. Surprised. Sky Sky's really good on Bind, too. Like, yeah. She can get so much info, be long, um, she can dog. She, she's basically like a, a better Sova, kind of a, a solo initiator. So there's there's so much more I feel like she can do than Sova because she has she has essentially a Sova drone, but it's better because it stuns somebody and still sees them. Um, yep. She has flashes and they recharge rather than just like a dart that tells you where somebody is. You will know where somebody is in general, but they will also be blinded off the off the sky bird. And in my opinion, her ult is just a million times more useful than Sova's ult. Yeah, I, you know, I, I think if you're running a double initiator, then Sova's better just because you can kind of do a little bit different things and his util, like his scan dart, like actually tells you where they're at. So it's like a little bit better than the flash and better in certain situations, but if you're only running that solo initiator like BHS is, then I think Sky is definitely your best choice. You get the flash, you get the dog to basically run in as the drone, as like you're, you're placing the Sova drone with the dog. Uh, the Sky or the flash can also be used for info. Um, you can throw that and if you blind anyone, like for, for instance, I'm bind here. Sky on defense is usually starting like B long and throwing her flash all the way down B long and then popping it once it gets down B long. And usually that's going to tell you if there's anyone outside of B at the very beginning of the round. Because if it flashes anyone, then you know there's at least one person outside of B. Or if it doesn't flash anyone, then more than likely there's no one B and they're hitting A. So just kind of gives you a lot of info. And you also get that heal too, which you can heal a bunch of teammates at once with it it's very good so just as like a solo initiator sky is always your best choice but it's gonna be interesting to see what they can do with the gecko here um are we are seeing the double duelist comp out of uh for thud so that will be interesting got the neon and the reina also got a cypher and the omen and the breach as their initiator. I mean, love I, the cipher pick on this map. Yep, cipher is very good. I agree. I'd want to see um, the the breach kind of using a stun and comboing that with like the neon running up to kill anyone that stuns it. Um, and they're able to like take Come space take pretty quick and get info. Like if they were to do that short there, they stun through. On run up and see that there's no one there and they know it's speed. Great. Spike planted. Yes. Mm, we'll get finding two. Go. Give me a blocks finding Last one. Player standing. That was a one before. Unfortunate there. It looked like there was a little bit of a gladiator fight. Um, coming out of CT, Omen just kind of running out on his own. Nobody there to follow him up. Follow him up. Reach was he was there, but he just wasn't close enough. So. At that point, Omen, you know, just kind of stutter step, maybe wait for your teammate, just try and get in there, Need a drop. run out so somebody can trade. There's not a whole lot you can do, though, when it's a, a 3v3v2, 4v2. 
especially on a pistol run when everybody's already so low. It's like another B side hookah push. Oh, castle's not cleared. Yeah, he finds the one. There's that first one. Already under control. Spike planted. Oh, we got a cheeky lurk up here. Beautiful play off this trip. Takes out Villain. Another one. This is a very wonderful round. PvP mad is going one. crazy. And just like that, Berthug won the round. You know, I was kind of talking about this uh, after the last match where. Berthud is finding those first bloods, you know. They're, they they found one there with the the short or the the bucky kill in Huka, and they also found one on that pistol round. They got the very first kill there, but weren't able to find any more after that. So uh, they're doing a good job of finding those first bloods and getting those kills. But yeah, there's not really they haven't really been able to capitalize off of those first bloods, except for that last round. They did a really good job of. Kind of playing with each other and um, getting the kills that they needed to win the round. Yeah, it's looking like they're they're already getting a little bit more comfortable with how they have to play here. So let's see what ends up happening. VHS coming into a three splitting into showers. Really short. Oh, the chamber. Check out finding a kill. There's another first blood that I was just talking about. Yep. Targo's finding a double dink on the PvP. He does get the Phantom too. It's not looking amazing for BHS right now. If Doggos can get a couple of kills with this Phantom, no one's looking at him too. There was one he's traded by Reaping though. Everyone Huge cipher alt here. For thud, full guns on the board. Oh, give me a box. Thirty seconds left. And the last two for uh for Berthud are very very weak. They're down to one HP. Creeping knows there's one in heaven. They know there's another on default. I don't here. think he knows he's back out, uh, out back site already. Last player standing. Oh. Oh, Give me no. vlogs finding the kill. Morpheus left into a 1v2. 5 HP. He has the vandal. He needs to get a kill to heal up. I don't think he wins this fight against Noki here. Yep. That is a nasty angle to hold. Back to back thrifties coming Show out. For Thud getting that first thrifty, and then BHS coming back the very next round and getting their own thrifty. That was a wild fight. That there were so many there were so many times where, where the power swapped from uh <laughs> from BHS back to Berthud and then back to BHS. Yeah, very close round. The Lou. Taking out Castle on long. Locking sight. It's you and me. Look, you can't quite fight the tripwire, however. The Lou does lose his 1v1. Just finding one. Down B. Last player standing. Aiming with blocks, picking up the last three kills. Please do not mistake my smile. Man, these rounds are so scrappy. They are. It was interesting. So when the uh, cipher is grabbed in the ISO ult, looks like his util just, just automatically goes down. Gun so here. if you know a site is being solo held by cipher, and you grab him, it's just a free site at that point. In we go. It looks like that's what um, BHS ended up doing here. Oh, 
Oh, that was a funny one for Phil. Your jet goes down. Spike planted. Bomb planted with Gecko, though. Oh. Double tap goes out to the saver for much, though. Watch out! So we're trying to kill onto Morpheus. Castle finds another kill onto Velo. This way! And it's at 3v3 here. This. Prepare for oh. hell! Coming in. Can't keep them off it for a little bit. Sort of not able to hit the shot with the op. Castle finding a kill. And a fourth. Doggo finding two with that. Oh, no. Wow, that bolt that came in. Wow. That ult really saved the round there. It did. Being able to being able to grab those two. Holy smokes! You know, I I wasn't too sure if that ult would work out because they had three people there ready to like shoot it and break it, but there's not able to do enough damage on it and break it soon enough before it hits two of them. And you know, I I, I do think that sticking the bomb wasn't quite the right play there. I think he could have tapped it and then got off of it and held like for his teammates since they're both detained. But that's, that's kind of what I thought tough. was gonna happen too. Because originally Gecko was shooting at the, the detained teammates, so if you, if you swing off of that, that's a that's a kill. And bam, you know, free to fuse. Yep, Reaping oil finding the first blood. Spike down B. The trades are coming in here. Spike is dropped on site. That kill coming in from Huka. Game of blocks finding three. Wow. Bella finding the last. You know, I, I don't even know if uh I don't know if BHS has gotten a first blood this match yet, but they've won five rounds. Yeah. Dutch just like is it, finding those first bloods right away. Like, uh, I believe the Cypher killed Jet there uh, for the first kill, and then after that, it just goes in VHS's favor somehow. Get it's not really capitalizing off of those first bloods and those picks. Well, it seems like so the first blood comes out, and then, uh, whoa, gaming with a nasty shot on triple. Um, so the first blood comes out, and then after that, it seems like angles just aren't really being held as as well as they could be. What? Nice Ooh, castle oh. finding two with the deagle. Deagle demon Coming right here. Take this. Here we go. You could try with the deagle. That was. Uh, one enemy remaining. Morpheus stuck with a deagle in a dream here. Can't quite connect. Another very close round, though. So I'm thinking, I'm seeing a, a slight pattern here. So right now from, from Berthud, they get, get first blood, right? First blood is hit. After that, um, inevitably Spike ends up going down. So Spike is planted. On Spike Plant, though, it seems like that's where Berthud just doesn't know how to not so much you know retake the site because the site is given up almost almost immediately. They, it, it looks like they only have like one person come out Headshot. at a time Miles on the site, ready. and that's kind of what's eating them alive. They need to just swing as as a team and go hold each other's angles and stuff. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Sure. Pardon the Morpheus was unlucky timing that eyeball. Didn't quite go up by the time the chamber was out. Yeah, but do they know the Cypher's here and Elbow? I don't think they do. Last player standing. Beautiful play by Omen. He got one. Couldn't quite make the second connect. Don't think they know he's here. They, they hear the cam on site, so they know, <laughs> should know he's like, like somewhere here. Nobody's looking at him right here, though. Uh. Hear the cam. Yeah, gaming isn't even looking at him. Nobody knows. <laughs> 
I was hoping you could find one. That would be that would be funny. It's like one to seven going up in favor for uh, VHS here again. Got a gecko ult, brimstone ult, and a uh, iso ult. To combat that though, they also go for it. Kind of a torn by here on uh, their set of Berthud. A bit. Uh, judge on defense though, it could work. Especially up, up here where uh, it's where you and me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> He's got go. the judge with the one v one. Can't go find you a second one. So the enemy team is pushed up all the way B. They're planning. That's so unlucky. Ooh, Castle. Castle. <laughs> Castle's been looking good with uh, the deagles and the marshals. They know the last guy's elbow here. He, he just needs to stick the bomb. It's not playing for him. Yeah, I would just pop, pop your breach ult and go. He doesn't even need to pop the breach ult. He just needs to get into that cubby and stick it. But now he doesn't have time. Yeah, he spent too much time just hanging out. Clutch. Oh, no. So... Yeah. It's such a close round, but... You know, it, they just get into situations. Berthud just I gets into situations. And then I don't think they quite realize like what they need to do like soon enough. And then once they do realize like it's a little bit too late after they realize it. And that's just like making them not win these super close rounds. Like there's been so many rounds where it's been super close almost there where they're almost winning it. It's super winnable for them though. And there's not quite getting around. And it happened on the scent also. But yeah. They're right almost there. Down a. Right there, they would have won that round uh, 30 seconds earlier, I think, if you know, Omen, instead of TPing up, and then freaked them on and tucked in, tucked in, tucked in, and sat there, but reach held them. Omen does find two kills here. Oh, he might get another? Fortunately, he had util out. Christine, the triple off play. So unfortunate to see. Yeah, Beach just loves their ops. Yeah, I've never actually seen a seen a team use the point and click stick uh, as often as these guys have. It's like chamber <laughs> chamber ops coming out as well, so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be four on the table. Gaming with blocks though, sticking with his rifle, he, he loves fly. his handle. There's still that breach on the You want to board. play? Let's play. If they do this right. They could easily counter a lot of this, because when you're stunned, you can't you can't ADS, so. Yeah, look how quick they're going into this site too. Yup. See like right They're going so quick. That here. kill trip is gonna be coming in. Great job out of creeping oil. Here's the perfect spot for a breach ult. Spike oh, that would've been so juicy too if you had used it because they were all right there. Not picking up the phantom at his feet. Going out. One up no top. Charges. <laughs> Gaming try to kind of get ready. <laughs> getting a little cheeky on him. Oh, he opts to not smoke the bomb. If he, if he were to smoke the bomb there, then I think he can win that for Last sure. Last round before the switch. Yeah, he could sneak in. Just kind of get around, tuck in. Start sneak sneezing. in. Get into half and then hop off because they're going to be pushing into that smoke after he gets into half. Yep. And then he has the judge, which.
which is perfect for that situation. They're coming to you. They're pushing into your smoke. You're gonna kill them. So. Well, especially if they have operators too. Like, who will I spot first? There was pretty much no vandals at the feet of uh, BHS here. So they're they're immediately at a disadvantage pushing the smoke. It's you and me. Omen here, he's got a, got a better chance of winning the 1v1 than Cypher did earlier. Oh, gets the kill though. Oh, it's looking so good in those 1v1 situations. They will cover. Zork missing a shot. Trap destroyed. Last player. Loyal getting the kill, and it's left into a 1v4 a. situation for Noki. Yeah. But he has an offer. Rito coming in. I like this. Last oh. round, might as well send it. Yep. I just breaks my heart seeing the breach all be held Switching for so sides. long, though. Yeah, it was held on, the entire half the until the fire. very final kill. Yeah. You just have that. That ult is one of the only ults that I will say you just need to throw it. And even if you throw it away, just use it because. Even if you don't get kills off of it, you're pushing people away, you're, you're retaking space, you're doing so much more with it than, than just trying to get a kill. I've seen so many people just like hold hold their ults. Breach is one of the guys that can, that can get it back so fast because how he plays and how much impact he can actually have. Like you, you just run in and get, get one, your flashes are so good, your stuns are so good, you're going to get a kill if, if you're doing it right. Definitely. Oh my god, Fox okay. finding the first pick on the Morpheus. And they're pushing it from short too. Look at this crunch. Do they know they're gonna be coming from sh from market? I'm too far. Last player standing. It's left into a 1v3. Oh no! Sort finds one. Saw Castle. Full blind. PvP oh. look away. Oh, why do you look away? That's gonna be a round win for, for Thud. 310. We doing this or what? Very close though. Oh man, I almost had a heart attack right there. Alright. <laughs> game's, game's still going, we're good. Um, looks like buy's coming out on both sides. Don't let the BHS again choosing to force. They seem to love just kind of forcing their way through. Oh. Everybody spotted him in Fountain Lobby Lobby. I don't know if he finds one here with his, with his Bucky. I uh, nice shot by Castle. Spike down B. It's a 2v1 now, or uh, 2v4. And they're kind of trapped here. Nah, Pin the they're TP. Gonna, they're going to get TP. followed though. One enemy remaining. Don't be expecting them to sit inside. Forever. Oh, PvP, I'm pretty lucky. Man, that's just such a tough round. They really needed that round. Gun here. That's so BHS is just playing so aggressive, though. They've been winning so many rounds. They they feel really confident, so they're just pushing up and taking that space and figuring out where they're at. Like, there's been three guys pushing short, A short, every single round, and taking that space, and they don't see anyone, so they are telling their teammates, hey, they're coming B, they're going to be pushing you guys, and they're just able to crunch on those guys pushing B. Double TP coming in, Game of Blocks finding one kill on Reaping Oil, Morpheus getting his trade onto Zorb, Gecko finding one onto Doggo, Game of Blocks getting the trade onto Gecko, and he finds another one onto PvP. 
Orpheus getting the trade back onto Velo though. It's a 2v2 situation. Gaming. Oh, they don't know he's here. Oh, this could be the end. One enemy remaining. Hey. And the ace. I'm king of it. Man, he is looking dominant this game. Match point. Wow. Gaming sitting with a comfy 21 and 7 KDR. Comeback season. It can, it can happen. There, there is still a. It's it's not an awful buy. I mean, the guardians are still still completely usable. Ares is still a, not a terrible gun. It's, it's decent. The only the only like slightly disadvant disadvantageous weapon that they have on the board is PVP Spectre, but he just kind of has to take that right now. It looks like he knows they're pushing him. Oh, not quite able to find the kill. Gecko gets the trade though. 3v3 situation. They know where this chamber's at. Oh, but he's able to get out because of that cage. I feel like that is not where you pop the cage there. Definitely not. I, I, I get that he was trying to use it for his team to uh, uh, kind of like get out of there, but you know, you, you know he's in that corner. Just go get the kill real quick. You know exactly where he's at. But also, he has a Morpheus. Bucket. Morpheus saving his teammate though. There it is, four twelve. Like a little bit of a rally coming out from. Uh, Thud. Yeah, Berthud is doing really well. You know, they they're looking very good. I don't think I have ever seen a team that looks really good but is barely winning any rounds. You know, there have been so many rounds this series where it's super even. You know, we're in a two v two or a 2v1 in favor of Berthud, but they're not able to pull that out. They're kind of separated, giving 1v1s, and doesn't really work I out in their exactly favor, so. Great. So that's kind of what I'm seeing. Is, uh, right now, like, their stats look amazing. They have so many first bloods. They have so many, so many good kills. And they're, honestly, their kills across the board are not bad. 14, 13, 13, and you know, 7, 5, so that's okay. Um, the spike. As far as, as far as they are on paper, they look good. But they do look really good. Spike planted. This is this is where the the logical fallacy of of oh my KD is great, therefore I'm doing great. Well, okay, your KD is, is good, sure, but you're not and, playing with your team, you know, you're not. And like I was just saying, they, they were in a four v three situation in favor of them, and all of a sudden they're into a one v one. Right. And this is not a favorable one v one to play right now. Oh, Reaping Oil playing this so well, though. Reaping with the wall bang kill, saving the round. Well played. Yeah. Great job out of him. But it's rounds like that where they're up and they're doing very well. And they have the advantage on VHS. But they're just kind of giving VHS some kills and they're allowing VHS to bring it back and make it even or make it in favor for them. So I think they just need to kind of work on making sure they're not giving them the favor. And if they are wanting to peek, then they're peeking with a teammate right. to make sure they get that kill. That's kind of the name of the game, especially in a post plan situation. At that point, when condition switches from getting kills and taking sight to stay alive and make sure spike goes off. You don't you don't take a fight unless you got a butt buddy. You don't take a fight unless you're holding somebody's hand. Or you tell somebody like, hey, I'm gonna blind from you. You need to go now. Make sure make sure comms are open and everybody's actually ready to go off of the detail. One enemy remaining. Spike down. One v three now. QP finding a kill. Brings it to a one v two. He with blocks going in and he finds the kill. Win.
Baraboo High School taking the series 2-0. That is going to seal the deal here. What a great series we just saw. That was incredible. Both teams look so good. But you know, even though the, the scoreboard said that uh, BHS was dominating and kind of just taking over the game, that's really not what we saw, you know? There's, um, uh, Berthud was getting a lot of the first bloods. Like, they had 11 first bloods that, that game, which is more than half the rounds. So the fact that they had more than half the first bloods, but they're losing 13 to five, it just kind of shows that like, the beginning of the rounds are looking really good, but then they're just kind of falling apart mid round or post uh, post plant or uh, retaking. Like they, they just need to work on some of those things and work on uh, kind of mid rounding and getting through and keep that momentum going and keeping the advantage for their team during those rounds. But you know, it both those teams look very good. I, I will say. Yeah, there, there, there really wasn't one team that was just like kind of dominating like super bad. It was just very, very close rounds all around the board. Um, but yeah, we're going to be seeing some more great series uh, coming up here soon. We've got Berthud, which we just saw. They're going to be playing Legend High School, uh, which we saw earlier today. Um, Legend High School ended up beating uh, BHS uh, 2-0. But, you know, just because they beat them uh, doesn't mean they're going to beat Berthud. Completely different team, and Berthud was looking very good there. Um, so if they're able to uh, uh, complete those rounds and keep the advantage, then I think they have a very good shot at beating Legend. But uh, we'll see very shortly. We're going to be taking about a 15 to 20 minute break. Um, and then we are going to get started with that matchup. Um, so if you guys are enjoying watching, uh, please stay tuned for that. And uh, we will see you again very shortly. Thanks. Stick around, guys. We'll see you soon.
The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall. My love, if you feel like I do right now, don't say you're on the run to the other side. My love. 
Hello and welcome back to the Fall uh, Leg Champs Valorant Tournament. We are getting into our third series of the day, third and final series, I should say. Uh, we got Legend High School playing, and we also got Berthud High School playing. Uh, these two teams have played already in this tournament. We saw Legend play, uh, well, both of them played BHS um, uh, Baraboo High School earlier today. Legend ended up beating BHS 2-0, and um, Berthud ended up losing to BHS 2-0. So, should be a pretty good match. Even though um, Berthud lost to BHS, doesn't mean they're not going to win this one. Uh, we saw some very, very close rounds and very close matches between those two teams. So, I'm expecting to see uh, a pretty good matchup here today, and uh, we'll see what they have to bring for this matchup here. But yeah, we're going to be getting started here very soon. Uh, map order is Haven, uh, followed by Split, and then if it goes to a third, they're going to be playing Bind. So uh, for sure see Haven and then Split. We did see um, Legend play Haven earlier today. Um, so we'll see if they stick with that same comp or if they change some stuff up. Uh, but yeah, it should be a pretty good matchup and pretty excited to watch this. Yeah, looking forward to seeing everything, seeing if they switch up some comps or something like that. Um, for Thud is a very good looking team. They had they had an exorbitant amount of first bloods in the last game. So I'm just hoping that they can actually capitalize off of that as we jump into this first game here. So um, yeah, looks like everything's ready to go. Looks like they're all good to go. Uh, we're just going to jump into it and see what happens. Let's walk this over so you guys can actually see real quick. All right, here we are. I believe last time on Haven we saw the, yep, Jet Breach, uh, Sova, Omen, and Killjoy for Legend. We'll see if we get that again. So far, so good. Jet Got Breach Reaping Killjoy. Oil picking the Cypher for Berthud. Looks like they're hovering the Jet in the Reyna. Also got a Viper, which is different. <laughs> don't really see that different is definitely a word for it for it i would go with unique <laughs> viper on haven is uh i you know i i don't think it's too bad as long as they have another smokes to go with it right you know they can definitely make viper work i i've seen pro teams play double uh controller but it doesn't look like they're going to and just got the Viper as smokes, so might be a little difficult to get some stuff going on the tech, especially like on A site. You know, you can't really block off that heaven angle or the CT angle super well uh, with like a Viper wall or something. You're going to be like cutting that site in half, basically. Right. And so it's going to be a little hard for them to kind of take some sites with that Viper, but you know, maybe they got something up their sleeve. Uh, we'll see. There are, um, uh, I think there are like Viper orbs that you can throw to get up into heaven, but even then, like that's hard to pull off. It's just not optimal. So, yeah, I, I do think just other regular smokes are a little bit better for Haven, but we'll see if they can uh, pull this off, get the Viper working. Always good to see Cypher out, out and about. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually really happy that now so many people are playing him. I've seen him so much in comp now. I've seen him so much in, in competitive play and even in pro play. Like people, people are just going hard into him. It's nice because he was he was an agent that Riot overlooked for so so long, and now they just kind of just buffed him out of the blue and just decided, hey, yeah, you know what? He's just gonna be really good now. So. I think he's sitting in a really good, a really good spot now, as far as his util goes, as far as his, his uh, as far as his trips are concerned. Like he's, he's really good now. I like him. Yeah, I, I do like his rework on the trips. You know, we were kind of seeing that earlier in the Legend and uh, BHS game that we watched uh, on Ascent. BHS was running uh, a cipher, and whenever they, whenever Legend was running into the sites, uh, they're kind of getting hit by trips and. Um, a lot of like kill trips were getting uh, were getting hit, and like that util, like a sky dog or 
Sky Ult or Soba Drone doesn't break those um, those trips anymore. You know, they, they, they stay up and they can re hit someone. Right. But her thud is working towards A Spike here. Down Ziggs a. finding two with the Deagle. Stealing sight. He's looking for more. Gecko finding the kill on him. Kinder gets the trade onto the Viper. One enemy remaining. That is going to be the first round. First round in favor of Legend. Well played. Kinder pushing up there with that with that Omen Flash. Like that was that was beautiful. She she managed to capture three with that. Ooh. Got a kill off of it. Pushed it with two off. Like that was great. As default cage nerd, nerd set up here on C site. Like we're gonna see a see a C hit they here of grenade. Legend. Maybe a split through garage too. Or, uh, sorry for, for done. My bad. Zig finding one in mid. Looks like Zig's gonna actually go through and try and hunt him down a little bit too. Oh look how far up noob is that viper roll. They don't know if he's here. That wall is really nice to get him up in there. Spike down. Unfortunate, One but... enemy remaining. Flawless. I mean, it's kind of like what I said earlier with the Sometimes Viper before the game started. Base. You don't have those smokes to like throw uh, where you like normally throw them like garage or CT there on the C site, and that wall just doesn't quite give them enough. Uh, advantage i feel like even though the viper was able to get into sight you know he, he still just kind of like balls it off not really for him i guess i'll um, find them he's able to sneak up but you know it's just not quite doing enough as like normal smokes would be great standing ahead it doesn't it doesn't cut off those key choke points it just splits the site in half and makes it easier for you to actually go up and kind of take a little bit of space rather than all of this all the site space Flash out. Drum yep. Here. Reefing oil, getting a kill on the drum. Oh, Ginder and Schwert with the judge. They did not clear her, so. Oh, Omen Smoke coming in. Uh, oh! Ginder with the two. Down, <laughs> two. One enemy remaining. Almost gets the third. Zig able to get the last two. That's a big round for Legend to win. Castle did find one, but he got immediately traded out. For Thud started off that round very, very well. You know, they got that first pick, and then uh, they just kind of went up into long, and then kind of got held off, and they got Omen blinded, which caused them to back off and kind of just stay put instead of pushing the site. Um, and they just kind of get after they get pushed off. Off shots fired. Still not able to land. Has been shot though, it's good. I can't use that. Worry about the old castle just kind of hanging out here. I'm finding another one. Orpheus gets the trade though. Oh, his free clear is so good. It is. finds that kill onto the KO. Gander with the blank here. I don't know if she's one here. Enemy remaining. And she gets both. Nice. There's another one of those rounds where Rathud just kind of gets trapped and like they, they got trapped bottom mid there, last two guys remaining and not a whole lot they can do. They're just kind of trapped and stuck and the uh, legend team was just able to capitalize off of that, push the other spots, push through A and then get those flank kills on them and Rathud just kind of struggling with taking that space. Zygnus, classic off angle, angle shot. Managed to clip Morpheus, that was huge for him. Oh, they don't know where she is. 
Gecko. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, I'm so sorry I keep talking like as soon as you start talking, I'm just gonna <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah, that off on Zig just puts in so much work. He's able to hold down A very well. I think uh I think a Reina blind like into long would be good if they're trying to hit A. Kind of push him off. Sig so finding the first kill onto the Reina. Very quick out of him. Ginder finding two. The last person alive. The flawless round for Legend High School. Everyone note down your observations, then let's run it again. Man, they are looking dominant. Yeah, Legend, uh... Legend also beat BHS earlier today, too. So they're... they're they've already shown that they're very comfortable. Zygnus here is definitely Legend's MVP. I'd be interested to know who's actually calling the shots, though. Is that Zig, or is that somebody else that's trying to IGL for them? Toxins going up. I'm gonna see long space very well. Castle finding the first kill on the drone exactly in mid, way. and they have that B site for free. Reach point didn't down. tag anybody because the Viper ball going up completely stopped it. They should know they're all playing. Sig finding a kill on the get go. Oh, creepy KJ alert coming up on C point too. And know where this KO's at. This is old. Kinder finding one, followed by pass. Zig getting the trade. Just like that. They had the round. Only losing one on the retake there. Oh, no, no, no. You don't out. deserve my inventions. Econ is not amazing. Over thud, however, it is not an entirely hopeless round right now. Um, two vandals on the board. There could be three uh, if Gavin does die, but he looks like he's going for just a marshal here. Placing swarm grenade. Not a bad choice. Placing swarm grenade. He's going for a deagle. Time out. Uh, Bot coming back. Out of he's charges. going for specters. Placing sentry. Oops. Oh. Uh, Not okay, tech pause. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll just give him a second to kind of regroup and get uh, get audio fixed and stuff. So I guess right here is probably a good time to mention. Um, LAG is currently currently looking for sponsors. Anybody out there that knows anybody who would be interested in supporting us and what we do. Um, I'll just kind of give you a brief rundown for what the future looks like for LAG and what we're kind of trying to do here. Um, LAG is for high school students. Currently, uh, we plan on, ex plan on expanding eventually into some collegiate, having open leagues as well coming out here. Um, within the next couple of years, right now we're, we're on high schools. Um, our goal is to eventually create a network for high school teams and high school players to eventually go through and directly communicate with colleges where they can find recruitment opportunities and scholarship opportunities and eventually go explore a future in the world of esports. Um, Jonah and I here, we actually founded LAG. We started at the University of Nebraska at Omaha. We started and grew the UNO esports program up there over the course of last year. Uh, we managed to learn a lot. We networked a lot. We had a lot of friends that were 
really great in helping us expand and grow. The program ended up actually growing towards uh, upwards of 600 members by the time we were done. We started with about 30 and we grew to that point. We had teams that ended up competing in Red Bull, Red Bull Campus Clutch. We had teams that ended up going first in NECC for Rocket League for the Midwest. Um, it's that potential that we want to actually bring to high schools. So for anybody out there that is that would be interested, if you know anybody, if you know anyone who would be willing to support us here, please feel free to contact us. Um, we have contact information on our website, lagesports.org. Uh, you can also reach out to us on Discord. I'm always available. Jonah's always available. Please, by all means, feel feel comfortable in just approaching us and letting us know. Um, we're, calling my boss. we're hoping out to bring in coaches here pretty soon from colleges and start networking with them. So Bob's we're going to actually, pretty soon, um, the hope is spring of next year. If not, then maybe early summer. Uh, we'll actually have college coaches in the server and everything that, can, that we can network with and actually start recruiting for colleges directly through LAG to help high schoolers out there. So, uh, yeah, that's the that's the big announcement. That's the big PSA. Um, thank, thank you for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Out of charges. Uh, that's pretty much everything I'm going to say right here. Um, yeah. Yo, that's so weird. You can't hear voice chat. <laughs> Everybody going for tech support here. <laughs> Oh, also, uh, another thing that I don't think was mentioned, if you guys have not already joined our Discord, make sure you guys join that. Uh, there's a link in the bio on the Twitch page. If you go to the website link, uh, you will find about, about a bunch of more stuff about us. And then uh, there's also a link on our website uh, for you to join the Discord. So if you guys have not done that already, make sure you hop in the Discord and we post tournament updates and uh, when we have tournaments, you can also find the registration for those tournaments in our Discord. So if you're not in there already, make sure you hop in there and uh, take a look boss. around. Out of charges. Discord is our primary method of communication, so if you're interested in joining us, please, please, please join us there. Bot coming back. Out of charges. Turn out. Bot coming back. Turn out. Recalling my bot. Out of charges. Placing sentry. <laughs> All the R's flooding. <laughs> All right. Eighth round of the match is now starting here. Looks like Berthud is trying a eight hit here. At this point, we're all here. Just rush in. And... Here she's spot again. Oh, she 
loves his angles, can't quite fight him. That's finding the two trades. This Killjoy ult is going to be a problem, though. Bomb goes down. Spike down A. Oh, no. Castle gets out. Kale's stuck alone in a 1v3. And he falls to Paz. Really nice retake there out of uh, Legend with the Killjoy ult. That early Killjoy ult just kind of put a, put a stop to their push and didn't really allow them to get the bomb down. I, it looked like Berthod didn't really know what to do after that Killjoy ult went down, whether they should get off of sight and like play away from that, or if they should just plant the bomb and then get off of sight. Um, so kind of a tough situation there with that Killjoy ult, but... See what Berthod can do on this ninth round. Looks like they're pushing into Garage with that Viper wall. Viper Wall is going to be going down though. Breach hole coming in. Hits all five of them. Ooh. Yes. Used it. That's great. Paz finding it. three. One enemy remaining. Paz with the fourth. Can he get the ace? ace. And he finds it. Beautiful last couple of rounds out of Paz. Beautiful Breach Ult. Site rush coming out here, sort of. Not so much a rush, more like an A site push. Get your solo thing. See if they can push in past the smoke here. Omen um, Blind is gonna hold them off. Allows his team to get there. Sniper finding one in short. In the second one on Deginder. In a third. Average drum left in a 1v3. Finds one. Cannot get the kill on the castle though. Esper Thud is going to find their first round of the game. Is this? You know, to me it looks like Berthud shouldn't have won that round that Omen Blind came in out of Ginder and really held off the enemy team. Uh, they were all pushing long besides the one Cypher in short. And that Blind comes in, hits about like three of them, I think, and they just like kind of all run back. And instantly there's four people on site on A for Legend. And Get out of my way. they just kind of fall. But look like that should have went in uh, favor of Legend there. There's another A. Hit is coming in. Only one on site. Ginder the only one. They've had Ginder solo holding here the last couple of rounds now. Hey, Lapa, she finds one. Spike down A. Well, just finds a trade. So he gets one though. The Doyle coming in. Stealing sight. This is the They're forced to get off of sight. Last player standing. Oh, but Zig wow. with some nice shots. They didn't even have time to react to him. Last round in the half. Oh my god, Zig. everything you have. We lose it anyway. Zig is the aim god. Yeah, he knows he knows what he's doing. Holy smokes. Paz getting two KJ ults off within three rounds, by the way. Yeah, that is very big. That ace round just gave her or gave him the ult back. It. It's like pushing up long here. Oh, he doesn't see anybody though. So, I was hoping they were gonna just let him creep you up there. It's like Jet is trying to wait for him. Hall oh, can't quite hit the shots though. It's like finding the kill onto the Jet, reaping oil, getting the kill onto the Sova. They 
very but weird. But has the SD site. Finding back site. Sig finding the third onto the KO. That's another round win for Legend. Taking the first half 11 to 1. Very well played. That was a sick finisher. I wish I bought that bundle when it came out of the Dragon one. Best Vandal skin in the game. One of them, yeah. Best op skin in the game, too. <laughs> He's the wiggly long boy. It's nice because like the dragons give you a little bit of aim adjustment. They they, they kind of aim for you. Eleven to one, full reset. Let's see how this pistol run goes. We've got technical difficulties. <laughs> Hi, Jake Ryan. Oh, Castle peeks out, sees three. <laughs> he runs. Three people on the site here for Bethun. Coming out. Coming outside for Util. So he finds a kill onto the Cypher. It's a big kill to find. So it looks like they're wanting to rotate out, but maybe not. They keep going. Drum finding her. Drum goes down to Morpheus. Morpheus looking for another one. New developments finding one onto Ginder. All the flank coming in. Enemy down. Morpheus finding the kill. Andy gets out. It's a huge kill to find. One enemy remaining. New developments finding the kill onto Zig. Crevo. Left into a 1v3. Morpheus finds a third kill on the Crevo. Elements turning and running away, unfortunate, because I'm pretty sure he knew Selva was close there. That is a huge round to win if you're Berthud. It does set the tone because now Berthud can buy. This should it should theoretically guarantee them this round. Yep. Better guns, better plays. Legend sticking with the save, not forcing into it. Thud just, way. Thud for? just needs to play safe here and not give them any guns. They're running into garage though. So. Oh, the reload timing. The elements goes down. Gecko on the C site here. Castle finding one. Last two guys in the garage. Castle goes down though. Castle didn't quite realize they were that close. Uh, uh, one. Has finds the kill. One enemy remaining. And he finds another one. Last player standing. Last uh, guy's pointing on B. Gets the bomb down. Morpheus less than, left in a 1v1 against Average Drum. Very well played there out of Morpheus. Finding the kill, securing the round for Berthud. It is a costly round for them there though. You know, Legend was on uh, full classic buys, I believe. And they're able to pick up four kills on the round. Yeah, there was, there was a lot of, um, uh, I'd say question, questionable plays <laughs> that kind of led to that many people falling. Um, Viper finding one in garage, but then immediately reloading and pe peeking out into two more people is just unfortunate. You, once you get one, back away. For you, Don't reload, Veronica. back away. Keep the bullets in your gun until you know you're safe for sure. Because when they're playing with only pistols, like they're going to be stacked up. It's never just going to be one person. Yeah, also finding the spam kill with the Odin through wow. garage or through mid window. That's a great pick to find. Legend's on a buy round here too. For 
if Thud can win this round, that can really bring the momentum in their favor. Just kind of staying mid, waiting for, for Thud to peek out. Hopefully get a kill. For Thud is playing this really well though. Not giving them anything. Creeping up. Well, he might actually. Ah. He does. Zig, look at that. With one kill, he pulls, rotates all the way over to A site. C yeah. is completely free for them now. I think they realized it too. Yep. C site is already taken. Oh, no. And now they have to run a marathon to get all the way back. Zig is in such a good position here. Poison's gone. He hears footsteps. He doesn't. He doesn't swing. Reaping oil, getting one. Oh, Zig's in a bad spot right here. His teammates have Seaside on lock though. They're, they're just sitting there. Yeah, but Thud's got to go now if they want to win this round. And the round's already lost because there's no time. Like it. Wow, that was really well played. Yeah, that's a tough round to lose for Thud. Bro, I can't hit a shot. Match point. Zig just cleared two people. What do you mean? <laughs> and it's going to be match point now for Legend. I have seen comebacks from much worse. Let's see if uh, the Jet cleverly named Gecko. Oh no. Yep. Oh, the blind coming in along with the Jet dash up. It's just such a good combo onto the C site there. Another one and the third before he gets traded. Zig, beautiful positioning. Now new development oh, left in O. Oh, one no. before. Fortunately gets knifed. And that is going to be the first map in favor of Legend. Legend taking it 13 to 3, correct? Yep, 13-3. Yep, I mean, they just looked so dominant there on that, uh, on their defense half. They just were not letting for Thud into the site at all. And Zig coming out with a ton of first bloods, seven first bloods, finding those entry picks for his team. And then they just have the advantage right away after that. So great yeah. job. He, he was opting too, and it, it, it just makes it so much harder for, uh, for Thud to get onto a site if they have that op up. Um, but our next map is going to be split here. Um, hopefully we can see Berthud pull off uh, a little bit better of a of a game here and uh, hopefully catch some more rounds. But yeah, just dominant showing there on Legend. They look very, very good. Yeah, Legend is uh, consistently showing that they, they are very comfortable playing off of each other. Like you, you even saw it there between the the jet breach com combo their timing yep. was beautiful jet peeked out as soon as the flash popped and she had all the time in the world to even just to just do whatever she wanted to do yep that dash and smoke up on top of the box along with that flash coming through through the box blinds anyone back sight the soba dart saw the jet too before that even happened and then after that flash comes in to blind that guy back sight He's instantly getting stunned as well because that stun is coming in from the breach too. So all that util combo, it's so hard to counter that and to just kind of survive that in general because what are you gonna do about that? Like when you're the only person there, all this util is coming in, it's just so hard to not die, you know? <laughs> yeah. Just very, very difficult, but. That's probably the best, best way to play it, the best way to say it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's really difficult. So, but uh, Berthun really trying, and they did pull off a couple of rounds that were very good. So, 
Yeah. I'm they, excited to see what they have for Split. They have a lot of potential. Like I'm seeing. They do. It's just it's just little things like like what we what we what we saw in Pistol Run where they lost lost four people off that pistol where it was all classics. It's just little things that that cost them that and that's just kind of the the theme that's going on right now it's just minor mistakes minor timing issues um i think if they go back through and maybe watch maybe watch the vod when we when we posted hello vods are gonna be posted um if they go through and just kind of look at that i feel like they're gonna be amazing coming up here next next competition season definitely it definitely will be but yeah like you just said the vods i think are going to be very very beneficial for them um, I mean, for all these teams too. Um, just going back and like reviewing those things is so beneficial to learn as an individual player along with like learning as a team too, because like you're able to see where the enemy players are playing at and uh, kind of like how you should be uh, reacting to those certain things of what you're seeing around the map. Um, right. But yeah, we are going to be getting into split here. Um, looks like legend is starting attack first got a jet raise coming out i do like the double duelist comp um also the omen sky and the cypher this i think this is a pretty good comp here i'd say this is a little bit more than good this is kind of a nasty setup right now that they got going on yep on the flip side we have a uh, looks like fade iso sage I'm going to be brutally honest, I'm not a fan of any of those picks on this map. Eh, Fade. Fade I am a, I am a fan of, but only if it's paired with Raze. Yeah. I do think if you're playing that Fade, then you should have a Raze there comboing with you. Because mm -hmm. like that, that Raze nade with the Fade suck combo, that's just so powerful. Like, if you hear footsteps right away, A short then you can throw that along with the, Select your the nade agent. and you're bound to get one or two if you get any with your uh, uh, with your suck. So yeah. if they're able to combine that raise with it, I think they have a very good chance of winning, but doesn't look like they are going to be playing that raise. Got the Neon, Reyna, Fade, Sage, and Brim, which I don't think is too bad, honestly. No, this is this is usable. This yep. is absolutely usable. Um, we're gonna de definitely see Sage in mid already. Like we already know that's gonna happen. Um, Brim, not bad on this map. His his iPad can see just about everything, so he's he's good. I've seen a lot of neon plays on this map, so th that'll be fun. I do think Brim is the best smokes on this map. Yeah, no, I can totally see that. He has he has so much control that he can just put down, especially with you know his Molly and his ultimate. Like we've seen that already before. Um, it'll be cool. It'll be cool to see what what Gecko here can pull off with with Brimstone and Sands. So now we're not seeing a Cipher on defensive start this time. So it's gonna probably take um, a little while for. Uh, for Legend High to actually uh, put him to his full use. Right here. Yeah, I, I do like when uh, having Cypher like lurk A almost every single round, unless you're doing like a full A hit. Like it looks like they're doing. Um, Sky Dog coming in on the legend side. Almost finds a kill. Oh, does find oh the kill on the team. And the second onto Morpheus. And that's the A site. Zig like pushing up, trying to find Holy some more. Kill. Finds a third. Can he get the ace? He's on for it. One enemy remaining. Oh, can't quite make a connect. And there's the ace. Use a performance hey, I called that. I called Holy that. Holy smokes. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Let it be known, this is Zygmunt's uh, third ace in the series. Gun here. Having an absolute field day today. Yeah, he really is. Well, 
what a way to start the game too. It's gonna be tough for uh Bear Boo's mental to or not Bear Boo, I'm sorry, uh for Thud's mental to recover from that one. It's hard to get ace. Oh they don't Oh they do clear her out. Yeah. He popped the one enemy out. remaining. There's the last all this round out of legend. They're just looking so good. Wow. Was uh was split legend's pick or was this uh Berthoud's pick or Berthoud's pick? Um I believe this was Berthoud's. Okay. Actually, yeah, but, no, you're right, because that was um Unless uh they pick team B. Good look. Oh I can't go. Sage's walls are coming down. I can't scroll all the way all the way up. Darn. Satchel out. Satchel out. I got scout destroyed. Also finding the kill on Zig. That's a huge kill to find and Gecko finding one on Dengender. That is enormous. <laughs> Ooh, coming up, Peter. Well, we can find him. Not quite. Launching smoke. Kerbal finds two though. Bring his team back into this round. Looks like the oh, look, gonna come out. Yeah, look at where the cipher's at though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cage Looks like triggered. for Thud heard him though. I think Should so. know he's close to CT. Cage triggered. Bomb goes down. Oh, One enemy remains. Find the kill. And Gecko gets the kill onto the sky. First round on the board for Berthud. Great round to win. And they don't lose too many guns, which is yeah. huge. That was actually a really good round for them to win because like you said, they have guns. That was that was perfect. And they only lost two. They only lost two people in that round, so that's really, really good for them. Yep, they're bringing quite a few guns into this next round. It does look like they're buying up too, which is good. Yeah. Zig is gonna pop knives on this one, so essentially it's a full buy for uh, for Legend right now. Get out Up's of my down. way! Looks like it's gonna be a B hit. Sage slow doing some work on the push. Oh my gosh, what a Jeez. shot! Last player standing. Has finding one, followed by Cribo. It's left into a 1v4. Gecko finds the one, but not able to find the kill onto Ginder as she picks him up for the third round for Legend. Good trades coming out across the board. God, dude, I am so jealous of Zig being able to keep a cool head when it comes to dashing in and seeing four people and just choosing, okay, who do I who do I throw knives at first? And he he picks up two kills almost every time. He's he's just chilling right now. Yeah, I'm, I wish I was able to use shed knives like that. <laughs> Somebody sign this man. Satchel out. Satchel out. And you're finding the first kill, but Morpheus Tracer out. Sitting all the way into heaven here. I don't think they know him. I don't think so. Oh, and the Cypher Lurk in mid. Yeah. Shot the timing, down, though. Hey. Sig finding the kill. 3v2. Bomb is down. Brings it to a 2v2. I think they're just gonna go A here. That's what I would do. Or B, I mean. Yep, looks like they are. They know both are, both are stuck on A site. 
Does Reaping pick up on it? I think he does not yet. Nope. Spike's gonna go down before they even start rotating over. Spike planted. Two v two retake. There. Um. Everybody is at full HP, so it's essentially a fresh, fresh take. Zig has an updraft, and that's it. Yeah, they're both playing that main space, though. And it's just taking Birth out a little too long to get into the site. Cypher camp's still up, got another someone on. One enemy remaining. She goes down. Last player standing. Oh, an average drum finds both of them to secure the round. Super close round though. That was That was really close. Beautiful Cypher setup, by the way. So he had the two two cages out for me and the camera just sitting right right on top of Spike. So as soon as they tap it, he can peek out. Yep. Really good setup. That's Putting good that uh, cam on the bomb is always really good for a retake. Yeah. Oh, noob. Oh. I know Balls exactly. That one's going down. They have the site now. Your fault. Zig finding another one. Zig is Second of the round. Dinked, I think. He did. Zig down to 50 HP. Heal up, squad. Oh, not anymore. He's healed, healed by Sky. Uh, last player yeah. standing. Flawless. Yender. Flawless round. Oh, I surrounded by and I believe, yeah, Ooh, that's gonna put uh, Berthud's economy in a pretty bad position. Two players can't full buy. But it looks like they're still gonna buy up with it, though. Yeah, I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's the optimal decision. I would probably try and save a round on this one and make sure buys are still even across the board, you know, but... Yep. Launching smoke! And there's also no armor on the brimstone. Yeah. Ender... Almost finds one. She's going, she's going to off the Oh, she also, does it! Both Duelist dead on Legend. It looks like they're rotating now. Kinder falling to a blind spray by Brimstone. That's so unlucky, but... Well played on Brim's part. There's still a brimstone ult up right now. He might be able to get some use out of this. It looks like he's gonna use it here on the planet too. Yup. Here's him on site. Open up the sky! Good play, boy. Smoke's down! Stuns go out from Neon into back site. It's really good stuns. Okay, Crow finds a kill onto the down. sky, bombs down. Taz finding one, Drum finding another, and it's down to a 2v2. One enemy nice remaining. Castle finding the last two. Secure the second round for Berthud. Who oh, am I kidding? My I really thought Berthud would have to this. Pull, pull that one off right there as soon as they started running in one at a time. And even then, that last part, they were isolated. One was one was up in Rafters and one was in CT. He couldn't, couldn't swing out and couldn't trade. Yep, very oh. close round though. It was yeah. a 4v2 going into that too, and Legend able to find two of them before they fell, but Safety very dog. close. Get Smoke's out of down. my way! So it's gonna be a mid hit. Knives on Zig. All the way up in heaven already. Finds a kill, finds a second, and that's a B site for free. Oh man, Castle is still just hanging out here. Castle un does not challenge Last any of player it. Standing. Oh no. So gets kill on the gecko. Get lost. Take it out. Castle finds two though, bringing it to a 1v2. Cut 
Watch out! I'm out of here! Almost has it, but not quite. Tough situation to be in. That's so rough, yeah. At that point, Castle. Oh man. Castle had stuns, he had so much he could do right there. He hears all of them in, in mail. At that point, I feel like you just kind of not so much throw away your life, but you know, spam stuns and then peek out and just do what you can to slow down that, that push through mail. He hid in that smoke the entire time until they were all up and all of his teammates, teammates were downed. Hmm. For Thud pushing A. Looks like there's walking up. Oh, okay. Oh, right. <laughs> Spike is still on, on B site, though. He gets the kill on the castle as he runs in. Look out! Does Gecko. Does he get it? Oh, no. It is. <laughs> Drum saw the barrel of the gun. I've got yep. your trail. Well, I'm just gonna go down on B, too. I it was a fake for B. Have retrieved One the enemy remaining. Spike planted. A little bit of a game of cat and mouse between uh, Brimstone and Cypher there. We're both picking up the last kill. Flaw this round for Legend. Man, Zig is looking dominant. 18 and 5 right now. He's After 9 rounds. He has been so consistent, dude. Say again. Hey. Heavy, heavy control already. Over this uh, neon Zed, Zig finds it with a neon. Ginder finds one, along with another one by Zig. One enemy remaining. Reaping oil, trading out Ginder. Wow. He had not a whole lot of Gekko can do there. And Zig is feeling it. 22 and 5 now after that round. 10 rounds in. Really well played. Him and uh, him and Ginder being able to just walk up Heaven and then play off each other. They took Heaven control. He peeks hey. out on uh, top Raptors. Ginder just kind of hangs out and she just kind of keeps watching CT. And then, yes, she fell, but she got she got good chip damage off, and he was able to finish the fight. So that was really well played. Looks like they're going to hit B spam coming in though. Molly. The exactly smoke the holds them off, but there's four on B now. They've completely rotated. Not spotted yet, I don't think. Zig finds a kill on Reaping. Castle finds a kill on Ginder. Another one by Zig. Morpheus is stuck with the Guardian here. I do they know he's there though? Looks like they do. Player standing. So he gets the last kill with his last bullet. Second to last kill, I'm sorry. 30 seconds left. It's Spike now 1v3 for Castle. Go, go, go. Finds one. Oh. It's not playing for heaven, though. Take this. Oh. One enemy remaining. Go, go, go. Castle finds the kill onto him. Here we go. And wow. the third! Well the played. To secure the round for Berthud. That Ugh. is a huge round to win for them. I faced worse. 
<laughs> the castle has a Last round balls of steel the to, to play the way that he just did. Full on neon sprinting out of heaven, jumping around, checking every angle, and then sliding into sight, not even clearing elbow beforehand. He just just goes for it. <laughs> wow! All right, that was awesome. Yeah, that was crazy. Well played. That's gonna bring it to uh, three eight. Quick the feet, half. quick trigger. Um, decent buys across the board, except for new. Oh, noob can't Get buy anything. Out of my way. Still kind of ghost and no armor, so we'll see what happens here. Marks one. Pushing the B side. Sky dog coming now. Molly's gonna hold them off though. Omen TP's out. I don't think they know he's on site. As finds the kill on the get-go. Sid goes down. Kinder gets the trade. Reaping gets the trade. Trade's coming in from both sides. I don't think they know Paz is here, though. Now they do. Last player standing. New developments left in a 1v1 against Cribbo. Thank you. And he gets the kill. Well That's played. a fourth round on the board. Switching Great job, sides. Albert Thud there. Bringing Whatever themselves happens, back into this game. Don't panic. Trembling Those down. were very, very good rounds to win. Very crucial. Dude, I was I was worried for him because seeing Noob on only a only a ghost buy. That's all he could get. He didn't even have armor for the start of that, and they still they still pulled that pulled that win off. Yeah, that was a very close round. All of these rounds have been very very close. Well, that's kind of what it gets back to you from earlier. Especially we we knew all of the rounds Upper Thud was playing against um, BHS, also the Thunderbirds. Every round was super Where close. It was just little things. So. Gets the trade though. Sky peeks out, gets one. Time to hunt. They're concussed. Gets a trade. Six looking for one. Two v three. In favor of legend. One's on one the flank though. Remaining. Kinder gets the last two kills. Great flank out of her. There's another one of those rounds where Berthud just kind of gets trapped and they don't really do anything after they get into that B main space. They take that space, get, they get the trades, and then they just kind of stop and don't really do anything after that. Sure, Legend keeps peeking into them, but... They just kind of need to go and there, make a decision on what to do. Great. This goes here. At a certain point, once you know, okay, we're, we're getting flanked, or there's somebody, you know, in this point, he's alone. Yeah, go fight the solo guy and he's going to through, because when you kill him, you have, you have plenty of open space where he was. Yeah, and two kills down here. Thud needs to go in. Good job oh. making a decision. Shadows Castle, no! Bomb is going to go down though. Can't get for thud money. You can fall into the other push. Can't use this yet. Oh no! Last player standing. They're walled off. It's the sage wall. Sage finds one though, but eventually goes down. That's going to be a tenth round on the board for Legend. The sage wall wasn't good. It gave them an alley to just go through and sit on spike. Yeah, very close rounds here. That was a save round for Berthud, so that they're going there. to have a full buy going into this next one. And Legend's oh, not going to have nice that one. good of a buy. They're on uh, three Bulldogs, uh, Marshall, and that Sheriff. So you're on a Classic now, not a Sheriff. 
Six finds that first kill though. Down to 24 HP though, so that Marshall shot definitely landed. Taken. Nobody's creeping up on either of the mains though. B site is very heavily occupied. News about to jump here. They get one, Reaping trades him out though. Gecko gets another one. No Salaska is there. Oh, oh but awesome. I don't know if he did. He should have known he was there, his teammates knew. Yeah. But the last guy's in main now. 1v3 situation. Let's see if Morpheus can pick this round up. It's going to be a very tough round to win here. Going into the Cypher 30 seconds utility. Left. The last three of them just on the bomb. Knows there's a player there. Does make it out without taking damage, but he has to go. Only 15 seconds left in the round. Not enough time. Ten seconds left. Right into that one. And they've just got such a good hold set up here. Waiting for him to peek out before they peek him. Great job. Out of legend. Yeah, there's not much you can do on a 1v3 on B side aside from just run it and hope. Looks like Berthud is still trying to buy here. They do have some decent amount of money. Space very quick. I like this. Not able to find the kill. They do get the trade though. Kerbo finds one onto reaping. He's down to one shot now. 4v3. Makes it a 3v3. Very winnable for. Uh, oh for no, Kerbo. I thought he was about to die. Zig finds the one kill though. Down, B. Castle finds last a kill on the Zig. Standing. Don't quite know where the last guy's at. Spike planted. Looks like he's going to play his ult. Krigo heard footsteps from Castle up in heaven. Unfortunately, he has to play fast because that Brimstone ult is forcing him. Kribo working up hip, heaven, clearing this all out. He knows there's one here, just not quite sure exactly where. Having to make noise now. Should be an easy kill for Castle. For Thud, fifth round on the board. First round of attack, too. Their post plants when they I'm get full are actually pretty solid. They know don't just swing the guy. They know don't just don't just go hunting. They hit an angle and wait for yep. it. I, I love that Brimstone is just playing with ult each time. He just sits there and hangs out like this. Yep, gives them a lot of time. Yeah, no, they they play smart. Oh, looks like Berthun might be going for the weird sage wall here. Oh, they are. See if he's able to get the kill onto the raise. Raise might peek out. I'm out of here. Sight already swarmed. Okay, who gets the trade? Feeling Looks safe. like he's still playing his remote here. This is really big.
Give one me credit. enemy remaining. Try to pull off a flight there. 1v3. Open up the sky! Grimmel coming in. Does he have the mullet in him? I don't think he did. Looks like he kind of lost track of what he wanted to do at that point. Oh man, that is a tough round to lose if you're Berthud. He got onto the site very quickly, did a great job executing, but Match just point. not able to find the kills in the post plant and they fall off to the guys in elbow, pushing up onto them. But it is going to be match point for Legend here. See if Berthud can uh, get some momentum going and see if they can uh, bring this round to, uh, to their side. If they bring it to 6 wall, I mean, you're still sitting on match point, however, uh, they would be able to thoroughly break Econ. As they pushing the up. They're, he's waiting for him. Can't out. Guess the trade it is a 3v4 now. 4v4 with that Sagros. Kinder finds a third, but she dies. Gecko left in a 1v2. The spike. Does he know? I don't think he knows the... Oh! 2 HP. Oh! oh Paz! Paz finds the kill. Paz that with closing shots. Be. That is going to be Legend taking the series, taking that second map, 5-13. to 13. Just a great job out of that Legend team with finding all the kills and getting those first blood zig, constantly finding kills with his jet and taking that space and working up eight first bloods out of him and Gander with two, Paz with four. There's constantly finding those first bloods and just brings the round into their favor every single time they get that first blood. And there's just not a whole lot that um, that uh, I just based on the name Berthud can really do about um, Zig just pushing in and finding those kills so quick. And his aim is just so good that it's hard to beat, you know. Um, but that is going to be a series. Uh, Legend takes that. And Legend is going to be winning the Fall Champions series for the Valorant tournament. Um, they played uh, Baraboo earlier and took that series 2-0. And they also just uh, took 2-0 against Berthud. So uh, Legend is going to be taking first place. And then Baraboo is going to be taking second place uh, today since they beat Berthud. And Berthud is going to be taking third place. But uh, great competition all around from every single team. There's so many rounds that were very, very, very close that could have went either way for either team. So uh, great showing out of all teams. And, you know, hopefully they can rewatch these games and just kind of like learn something about it and kind of learn how they should be playing these situations and adapting and um, knowing like what to do after uh, they get to certain points in the round. Because some of these teams just... They, they look like they're they get a little bit lost once they uh, get into uh, situations and um, just kind of need to make some decisions. But other than that, great games all around from all teams. And like I was saying, hopefully they can learn something from uh, today's competition and uh, playing together. And yeah, hopefully they had fun, too. That's the main thing is having fun. So uh, but yeah, anything you got to say, Quinn? Uh, yeah, not a whole lot aside from uh, thank you to everybody that showed up to, showed up to watch us. We do we do, we do sincerely appreciate you. Um, we will hopefully be having League of Legends and Rocket League coming up here within a couple of weeks. We're going to take a break from tournaments for Thanksgiving just so everybody can travel and everybody's going to be out of town and stuff anyway. So um, we tried to avoid Thanksgiving week for tournaments and everything. Um, aside from that, though, keep an eye out because spring we're going to have our spring schedule coming out here coming out here pretty soon. We're going to be changing the format a little bit. Instead of uh, just on Saturdays, we're going to host games every night. So we'll have uh, Valorant on one night, Overwatch on another night, League on another. It'll be an easier schedule for the, for the players and for hopefully for the viewers as well. So you can catch each match individually. We'll try and stream all of them at, all of them, all of them at once. Um, 
yeah no aside from that thank you very much for coming out everybody uh congratulations to the players thank you very much for playing and to all the coaches that made this made this happen thank you very much as well uh we look forward to seeing everybody back here soon and keep an eye keep keep an ear to the ground for uh, the rest of announcements for other tournaments and, and stuff so thank you yeah um one more quick thing make sure you join the discord if you have not already uh the link is in the bio of the stream if you go to the website link and then it'll be on our website um but yeah thank you to everyone who came and watched and uh we hope to see you again in another live stream or a tournament so yeah thank you thank you guys and uh just so everybody knows website is lagesports.org feel free to look us up plenty of information out there discord links are also there as well if you can't find the link in our bio on twitch um yeah hit us up give us a shout we'd love to talk to you guys take care everyone <laughs>